and apparently we're live. So never ever trust YouTube. I say this every single time, but I never ever trust when it says we're live because is it? And because there's a delay, you can't really see when it's live. So hopefully it is live. Hopefully everything is good. Hopefully the audio is good. Hopefully the video is good. Hopefully everyone here is good. Thank you for tuning in to yet another live stream. It's been a day today. It really has. Um, I've been on the road today. We did a Patreon live stream just before this, and now we've got this, the big live stream. So uh, yeah, how's everyone doing? Let yourself be known in the chat and, uh, and everything. All good? All good, happy days. So yeah, we're gonna do a build, um, just like we did last week. I think it was last week, yeah. Where we did one with uh, another brand this time. We're doing something quite NZXT focused and there will be a giveaway as well. So we're not giving away the whole system, sorry to say, but we are giving away a pretty nice case, I'd say. Probably one of the best cases of 2023. So uh, really excited for that one. Uh, you are gonna have to stay until the end to figure out how to win it. But I think you can agree just from the title of this video, it's gonna be a pretty beastly PC. So we're going with a 14900K from Intel and an RTX 4080 Super Founders Edition, which is gonna look amazing. There's gonna be lots of RGB. We're gonna take our time. We're gonna show you how to do it. And the beauty is we do have different shots. So we've got the overhead shot. So you can see the nice handy dandy eTechnics PC maintenance toolkit, which is available over on store.etechnics.com. We have got the main split where you can still see everything that's going on overhead, but also see me. And then there's the overhead with the split as well. So uh, yeah, we're, we're almost looking semi-professional with these live streams. I have got my little helper who's gonna be coming into shot right about now. So this is Brandon for anyone who doesn't know him. Um, he does a lot of our editing stuff, testing, helping with the live streams general stuff that we realized we're going to do this build and we've only got a certain amount of fans to put in it so we've actually had to rob some fans from a test system just to kind of make this system. yeah fancy pantsy and uh and everything so uh so all good uh jacob's here which if we do this uh he can do that oh we can make jacob a moderator because jacob works for us as well so he can deal with any riffraff that's in the chat so, uh, what have we got? We're trying to obviously keep up with the chat a little bit. Now, when you do a YouTube live stream, you do get the choice of what kind of latency you want. Last time we went with normal, this time we've gone with low. So the quality might not be as good, but we'll be a little bit more closer to kind of real time in terms of chatting with you guys. So if you've got any questions along the way, let them be known. Obviously, super chats, we really do appreciate. So if you wanna give us a super chat, we'll make sure that we do a little song and dance. I'll even try and make Brandon dance. Will you do that? Only if you dance. Only if I dance. I'm not a very good dancer. So. Neither am I. <laughs> All right, that will make it even more fun. So if you want to do a super chat and see us dance, then uh, yeah, there's the maybe. opportunity for that. Maybe. I mean, we can't say maybe. If we're going to do it, we have to do it, you know. We can't lie to the people. So, yeah. Uh, it would be insane if you were giving away the whole system, probably come to like three and a half thousand pounds. We should probably work out how much it actually costs, like along the way. Yeah. So, have you got your phone with you? I do, it's in my pocket. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll, as we go through each part, we're, uh, yeah, we'll try and figure out sort of how much it is. Obviously, you guys feel free to kind of, you know, chime in with prices of stuff so we can add it all together, whether it be in dollars or pounds. They're pretty interchangeable these days because in America, it's pre-tax. In the UK, it's with tax. So really, once you do the conversion, add on 20% for tax, you might as well just take the dollar sign off, put the pound sign on, so. So there we go. Uh, Maxi G, welcome to Bronze Supporter. Thank you very much. Appreciate that oh so much. I mean, technically that's not a super chat, but I feel we, we should do like a little dance of some kind, so. What kind of dance though? I don't, I, it's weird without music. But you know, I, I'm happy to do just like a little, you know. <laughs> this isn't weird at all. <laughs> not at all. Uh, if anyone's watching this and they haven't actually turned their sound on yet, they're just gonna be like, what have I walked into? What is going on here? <laughs> So yeah, we are giving away the case, which is the NZXT H9 Flow, because they do different versions. They've got the Elite, they've got the Flow, and all that kind of stuff. So as always, like with any PC build, I always like to build as much as I physically can outside of the case, purely because even though the H9 has got like lots of room, you can take off all the panels, you can really sort of get into it, it is just easier if you've got as much space as physically possible. So we're talking motherboard, uh, we're talking memory, SSD, and CPU, 
And then even cooler to a degree, we need to look at the cooler and sort of see what the mounting system is, but sometimes you can kind of at least get it prepared so when you're putting the AIO into the system, you're not kind of holding the rad while holding the pump and trying to, you know, do all sorts of weird and wonderful stuff. And for some reason, Edge just crashed. <laughs> so hopefully everything's still good with that. I mean, it should just carry on with the stream anyway. You'd like to connect think. streaming. Well, we okay, go. we're back. I don't know if the stream actually like cut out then. You guys will have to tell me. But uh, yeah, Edge just decided to close. Crap itself, basically. It did it and again. again. What is going on? Do you want to check on your phone if the live stream is still? Yeah, this live could be streaming? a problem. This could be a problem. <laughs> so yeah, Maxi G did say please stop. I'm guessing that's about the dancing. Uh, yeah, but, I saw that. Yeah. So hopefully the stream's still good. For some reason, Edge just decided to close randomly twice. So, uh, and again. He said, I mean, it says all good. I'm currently monitoring on my phone and we seem to be. I don't know why it's doing that though. So hopefully that doesn't mean anything for it. It's still going, but don't use Edge. Yeah. Do you know what? I've had no problems with Edge until now. <laughs> I've had so many problems with Edge. What was you using before? Like before, you was converted to Edge. I, I wasn't converted to Edge. Oh, well, it's just at work then? Yeah, oh, I okay. just use it because it's what's installed here. Oh, okay. What do you use at home? Uh, I use Brave at home. Mm. I don't know why I'm getting... I've never used it. <laughs> I'm just like, that sounds like the worst thing ever. Yeah. Edge is just problems. Edge is the evil one. To be fair, Edge is based on Chromium. So anyone who says Edge is bad and it's like, what shall I use? Chrome. It's the same thing, essentially. But I mean, Edge is somehow Chrome, but more bloatware. Oh, I'd say it's like it uses less memory than Chrome. But it's just constantly throwing things in your face mm. Mm. and crashing. Still not as bad as Opera. Yeah. Only time I've had Edge crash was system instability, specifically memory slash IMC on the CPU. I mean, we've had, we literally just did a Patreon live stream. By the way, if you want to sign up, patreon.com forward slash eTechnics. Jacob is going to put the link into the chat now with the hutta tupa. Not like Dan when he does it and forgets that and it's not actually clickable. Um, but yeah, if you want to sign up to Patreon, we drink beer and uh, and chill and chat. So I've only had one beer now though. So, uh, you know, there is that. So yeah, should we get on with the build? Let's get on with the motherboard. Right, so we are going NZXT themed. I think we did so, just lose connection for a sec. I think we might have done. I saw the stream blink and it yeah, said yeah. on the streaming software that we lost connection. We this isn't going well in terms of streaming, considering we just did a 45 minute stream and had not one issue. We're on the edge. We're on the edge with edge. So it's also very, very warm in here. I it think is. Is it like 23 degrees still? Uh, it feels warmer than that. It does, it does. So yeah, apologies if there is any problems with the stream. Okay, it's 22.9, it has cooled down, but that is right next to an open window, so. Yeah. I don't know. We will persevere and, uh, and go, it's perfect for me if that helps. It does help. So. It's just clearly not perfect for us. You haven't stopped streaming from my end, right? Just YouTube doing YouTube things, right? Weird. Let's get on with the motherboard. So NZXT theme. So we're going NZXT case, cooler, power supply, motherboard, fans. That's it, right? Did they make anything else? Keyboards, mice, monitors. I mean, we have an NZXT mouse here. If we have counts. an NZXT keyboard over there. <laughs> yeah, not here, but over there. Not in the camera where I pointed, but. <laughs> It's like inside the camera. Behind the camera. Uh, we have got any uh, NZXT monitor in the other room, but getting it is a pain. It is. And admittedly, the MSI one's probably brighter, so it's easier to see when we actually come to run games. So we are going to be running a few games just to sort of show the overall performance of the system. So let us know in the chat as well what games you actually want to see. Right, motherboard. Let's go. Did so, it back in the box? yes, it's back in the box. So we have already updated the BIOS on it. We always like to do it whenever we do a build or anything like that. We always like to do as much as we can to get everything prepared. So we have got Windows installed on the SSD. We have got the BIOS updated on the motherboard. So we're basically good to go. And those things are things we learned from last time. They are, they are, yeah. So, so all good. So NZXT N7Z790. Um, obviously, when it comes to a build, I always like to try and keep things in terms of the theme, like on point. So, uh, oh, look there at that. You go. Look at that. So, yeah, I always like to keep things kind of on point. That's a really weird angle for the camera, though. Have you seen it? It's like, yeah, it's looking down. Yeah. I mean, oh well. We're, we're persevere. So, like I say, everything's not gone great. So, see, someone has said, where did the live go? But everyone else said it's fine. So, I don't know. 
But yeah, this is the motherboard. The camera should be straight, but it's not because it's a very, very heavy camera on an already very heavy rig above the thing. So it is what it is. Like I said, we're professionals here. But yeah, this is the NZXT N7Z790, latest chipset from Intel. And it looks amazing, especially in the black case that we're gonna go with. I think things are gonna look really, really nice. CPU wise, here's one I made earlier. So i9 14900K, um, creme de la creme when it comes to Intel's top CPU at the moment. Obviously they are bringing out the KS, which has already had some talk about, you know, how beastly it is, but I can see it's probably going to be a very, very warm processor. But you know, it is what it is. I think people are kind of used to that now. So CPU goes in, can only go in one way without forcing it, obviously. Uh, but that's the CPU in. Let's do memory and SSD. <clears throat> the KS does look pretty nuts, to be fair. So memory-wise, uh, we've got a little bit of a theme with the memory and the SSD. They're both made by Clev, who you may have heard of, you may not have heard of, but they make some pretty decent stuff. And I actually said that when this came in the other day, I said it's probably the nicest looking memory I've seen. I agreed. Yeah, it's just like sleek, it's got RGB, it just looks, I'd say premium compared to like a lot of RGB memory kits on the market don't look premium, they look cheap or they look tacky. Yeah, what I really liked about it was how matte it is. Yeah. So if we get this out, so you can see it does attract fingerprints, I will give it that, but you can sort of rub it away. But that is some pretty damn nice looking memory, I think. So let's get that in. There's one stick. Oh, thank you. And then if I can get this out. Oh, look at that. It Lovely. is nice, it is nice. So it's like a sort of, what, black? And then the sort of gunmetal gray towards the top. And then, yeah, you've got the, the light bar. <clears throat> you got the light bar with the Clev logo as well. So yeah, it looks really, really nice. I've always liked the NZXT boards. They remind me of the older Zeus Sabertooth. I just sweat about the sheer amount of plastic, i.e. heat. Um, I don't actually think it's plastic. I think... I mean, we got some around places. I don't even think that's plastic. I think it's injection molded ABS. So I, you could argue it is plastic, but it's not in the same characteristics as plastic plastic. Yeah, there's some plastics in places. I mean, this bit's plastic. That's that plastic. Really matter. That's metal. Yeah, I think this is that's metal. That's magnetizing. That's not. I think it is. It's just a different type of metal. That feels magnetized, not a huge amount. I mean, it's... That is. It, it is literally... That is. Got heat sink that under is. there. So yeah, all of this is metal apart from this one bit here. So yeah, that's... A testament as well as to how magnetic this toolkit is. Like I say, available on store.etechnics.com along with all sorts of other weird and wonderful stuff like stealth baseball caps. We've got thermoses with digital displays on the top to tell you what the temperature is of liquid inside. Um, yeah, some really, really great stuff. So, uh, what else we got? It looks industrial, industrial slash professional with matte coloring is a new age RGB. It looks super smart. Uh, this game looks so realistic. Is this AI generated? So, has any have you seen the new AI thing? So Open there's, AI, they've unveiled this video. It's called now. Sora. Sora, right? right. Yeah. I don't know who invents the names. They're Kingdom Probably. Hearts fans, obviously. Uh, is that what it's from? I have no idea, but Sora is the name of the main character. Ah, uh, okay. So yeah, it still looks really odd. Do you remember the Will Smith one eating spaghetti? Yeah, I, I saw. Like, I saw a comparison <laughs> of that spaghetti video yeah. with some cat and a woman laying together in a bed. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, and she's got like a really red nose. Yeah, the cat has two paws that comes mm. out and the mattress is kind of alive and yep. it, it flops and then melts. Really unsettling to me. So the biggest thing that AI generated video has problems with, hands. Mm. So have you seen the granny with the birthday cake? Yeah. Ignoring the fact that some of the candles are blowing that way and some are blowing the other way. So it's like, where is the wind? Um, but yeah, there's people in the background like clapping and it's like, and there's like, yeah, and the other one I saw, I think I think it was a dog, and there's a dog, and then a dog comes out of the dog, and then another mm. dog, and then another dog, and it's just loads of dogs coming out of this, What? yeah, it looks really, really strange. Personally, I think advancing AI video is yeah. kind of, it's a mistake, in my opinion, because it was comedy gold. Yeah. And now it's just not great video that ha you can't <laughs> copyright it. Not, not legally allowed, so it's just kind of pointless video creation. And we are going to get to that point of you're not going to know the difference between reality and AI, and that's going to cause a lot of problems. Yeah, creators you know? are going to completely lose livelihoods. Yeah, like, you know, Biden's done this and Russia retaliates, and it's like, 
oh my god, they actually are because they think it's him. And Yeah, there's enough E-Technics videos, I'm sure you could train it, and then... Mm. I don't even need a beer. Yeah, so yeah. like... But then, I suppose if you train it on yourself, yeah. can you have copyright to it? I or guess would the so? court say no? I think every court in every like country would be different right so, yeah i don't know how it would work but yeah, yeah. eventually it's going to be ai andy hosting this yeah we still have brandon here you know the comedy gold uh right ssd ssd so what we got we've got a clev crash c930 yeah because we did the light one no we actually used that one yeah for we the used other the same one well. in the other build yeah yeah so it's a decent ssd to be fair yeah affordable it's... two terabyte it's what seven thousand megabytes a second i think I think so. It says somewhere, but I yeah, seventy four hundred and sixty eight hundred. So it's not bad at all for the average gamer. They're not even going to notice the difference. But you know, a great drive regardless. It does come with its own heatsink, um, but we're probably going to put it under the top one. So we're using the lanes from the from the CPU, and that has we do the old overhead one. There we go. That has its own. Metal heatsink. So let's take that off. I mean, let's be honest. Realistically, if you've got to drive that fast, mm. you've probably got a motherboard with heatsinks on it. Yeah, yeah. It, it does make me laugh. Like when you get these, um, yeah, heatsinks included and stuff like that. And you're thinking, well, yeah, you know, this is a high-end drive. Surely you're putting it with a high-end component that's already going to have yeah. a heatsink of some kind. So. Are yeah. we going to screw this down, or are we just going to pretend we did and then put that back on? No, this actually screws through there into that. Oh, does it? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, so what that. we do is that like that, and then that screws through and holds the SSD down. They're not quite on the same level as some of the other brands with the Q latch and stuff like that, which I do like, but... I was having a proper problem. Yeah. I don't remember which board it was, but I was having a proper problem with a Q latch yesterday. Oh, okay. The after some amount of use, the plastic on it is bent a bit. Oh, do you remember and... the MSI um, Spatium drive? Mm. Yeah, the was it the M five seventy Pro? It's like the Gen five drive with just a massive passive heatsink on it, and uh, the heatsink like here and then where the drive actually goes was the space just wasn't really there. Yeah. So trying to get your hand in and do like the Q latch. It was an absolute nightmare. It really, really was. It was a compatibility issue with the motherboard, I think, because there was so much heat sink going on on that board. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's not necessarily either of their fault, mm. but, like, it's not something you hope for when you spend that kind of money. No, no. But, you know, I, I get the idea because they were trying to get away from this, which, uh, if I show you on the overhead, so you have a drive like this with a teeny tiny little fan but this one's better than some of them because we had the corsair one which had a tiny little fan but it was sata yeah. so it was either on or off whereas at least this can be can no it hasn't actually got a pwm so no this is the same but either way this is the max one formum it's the you can't buy it right the, yeah the you can't buy it so this is the maximum drive it's a two terabyte fourteen thousand megabyte a second drive no one needs that unless you're a professional doing like rendering and workstation based tasks and things Which like that i happen to be exactly that <laughs> so you are the target demographic but for yeah. a gamer no the only time a gamer would appreciate that is in like ratchet and clank yeah because it has direct storage to be perfectly honest i've got like you know gen 4 7000 ish yep i can't really notice it no 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 you won't like i say there's ratchet and clank and i think there's a few other titles that have direct storage and then with that you're going to get it's more about getting into the game faster rather yeah. than boosting anything beyond that. Although Ratchet and Clank is about going from scene to scene. Yeah. But it's pretty quick at loading anyway, I think, even without direct storage. Yeah. There's other games that are a lot slower, like ones that have to load shaders every single time. Call of Duty, Last of Us, Hogwarts Legacy. Last of Us in particular. That takes so long. It takes so long. For anyone who hasn't played The Last of Us, you won't know the struggles, but anyone who has, you will know exactly what we're talking about when it's... You load up and it's just, you could go out like to the shop, buy your lunch, come back, make it, and it might be loaded. It takes a good five minutes. Doesn't yeah, it? I think at one point, you know, I set it going as I leave the office, come back the next day, it's at 40%. Yep. All right, that'll be done by tomorrow. Yep. It just... It's not great. It's not great. And no. yeah, Hogwarts takes probably about a minute. 
Yeah, it's Call not... of Duty seems to have got better. Yeah, but then you have to play Call of Duty. Yeah, which Call of Duty has its own fair share of problems where we run Modern Warfare 2 as one of the tests that we do when we do like our big game tests. Oh, God, yeah. And you boot up Modern Warfare 2 and it opens up the loader and you've got like Modern Warfare 3, Warzone, Modern Warfare 2. If you're lucky, it won't come up with the it needs to restart because there's an update. Why it didn't do that before you loaded it, I do not know. So if you're lucky and you don't get that, you then click Modern Warfare 2 and then it closes the launcher to then open another launcher for you to then be able to go, and then it starts doing all the shader stuff. Again. Okay. It's just terrible. It's like people at Activision, they make a game and they go, great. And they're like, so team, we've done it. Who's going to play it? Nah. And no one has actually ever played it, so they don't know the struggles. What's really annoying about that in particular is it does that even if you don't own Modern Warfare 3. Yeah. Because your account doesn't have Modern Warfare 3. I think it's the, their way of like, Come on, go on, buy, like, it. Yeah. buy it. You, you've got Warzone here. Yeah, that that free thing that we give you, you know, like a little crumb. But you know, yeah. what you really want is Modern Warfare Three. But like, I just battle royales is like they they're kind of a dying breed at the moment. Yeah, I mean, you'd argue the biggest one that has stood the test of time, the biggest one is Fortnite. Yeah, it's just a shame. It's awful. It's not that bad. Do you know what? It's not actually that bad. Like, I'm not a massive gamer, and when I am a gamer, I prefer multiplayer co-op games, something with a story. Like, I loved Ghost Recon Breakpoint. It had a story. You could play it and things like that, and, like, play with your friends. You had other games like, um, what's that one where you broke out of prison? Way out. Uh, yeah, like games like that I absolutely love. It's something you can really sort of sink your teeth into. I also love the Batman games. They're amazing. Spider-Man was good as well. Very, very similar. But um, I've never really been a massive battle royale kind of person. You know, go around looting for half an hour and you're like, right, I've got everything. Get sniped in the back of the head. And it was like, what a waste of 30 minutes that was. Mm. But Fortnite, you can actually just go straight into it and sort of off you go. I've had the exact opposite experience to what you've just described. Okay. All my experience in Fortnite is you go in and then someone who's playing on PlayStation has <laughs> shot you from across the map. Admittedly, and then... yes. You should be able to like choose PC only. Yeah, because it's, yeah, it's annoying. Apex does that, right? And you know, it's some little like ten-year-old snotty-nosed kid as well. Yeah, like, he thinks he's really good at Fortnite, <laughs> but it's actually aim assist. <laughs> exactly that. Though. Uh, I danced again, and no one even did a super chat. That's a freebie. <laughs> right? Not getting one from me. Mm. All right, next. Check next. the cooler. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. we might as well check the cooler because if we can at least get the bracket on and get it screwed down, it's one less thing that we have to do in the case. So cooler-wise, Kraken Elite 360 RGB, it's their latest cooler. This is their... Is this the top one? You'd like to think so, with the word Elite. Yeah. Yeah, the... they've got the Kraken 360, which we actually have over... We don't have in here. That is in our system no. in the other room. Yeah, but the box is in here somewhere. I've is seen it? it. I've seen it. Is it on set? Nope. Where is it? Some... I saw it earlier. <laughs> it's probably behind that monitor that you put down. But it's fine. We don't need to show it is that. there, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, Kraken Elite, this is the one with the bigger screen. That's the difference. Because the, I didn't really like the other one. The it's, screen, it's you've a got a screen square, like this. It's a little square but screen. But then the square's like that. In the middle of this big circle. Yeah, I didn't like it. Because yeah. you've just got this black area around the side. So, I'm holding more hopes for this one. This is the first time I'm, I'm actually seeing this one. And for some reason, we have two of them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. NZXT will do as NZXT does. Yeah, but RGB, this has got the new core RGB fans, which do look a lot, lot better. NZXT, have, they sort of had the AER fans for quite a while. Then they had the AER2, and then they didn't do anything for ages. And then they're like, right, now we've got this, we've got the duos, we've got the core, and they just release loads. I think they were maybe like testing things and trying it out and all that kind of stuff. And they settled on this, and I like it. I think it looks really, really good. The do they have one that's got the... Hang on, show this to the camera. Do they have one that's got the RGB, like, yeah, static so that, ring that's... and the fan being no, the thing? No, no. They've because... got the duo, which has got the ring at the front and the ring at the back. Yeah, because the thing I always find is this type of RGB doesn't always stay that great looking because it's a little bit washed out mm. because of the, just the nature of it. I don't like the rings because they're normally, like, um, fogged, if you know what I mean. I, I prefer having both because okay. that way you've got the best of both worlds yeah yeah i mean everyone's different some people don't even like rgb so yeah for me more rgb the better because that means i can make my pc very custom i don't go for crazy rainbows and stuff i normally go for very 
muted kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. So what we got? Uh, Jacob, Breakpoint had a story. Yeah, it was all about you had to try and get off the island, but every time you tried to get off the island, the drones attacked you. And it was really, really good. And then they ruined everything because they implemented Terminator into it. So, oh. like, yeah, you were just, like, walking around one day and, it, you know, there was an update. And then the next day you walked around and there's just, like, dun, 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 with the T-1000 just, like, coming after you. And it was, like... It's a bit weird. Why has this got this? And then I remembered who made the game. Who's that? Ubisoft. Ah. <laughs> Explains everything. So, yeah. We actually ditched a Ubisoft game the other day from our... You know, when we do our head-to-head, -head, 42 games, this card against that card, we ditched the Division 2 because it was just so inconsistent, right? No, it wasn't inconsistency that was the problem. That was it one was, of them. One of the problems. The big problem we had with it was that loading into the game and being somewhere else. It would just <laughs> say your save is gone. Yeah. So if anyone's played the Division Two, uh, the first bit, like where you go up to the White House, we'd like go for all that and we'd shoot everyone, kill everyone, get to the White House, and then it's like right, uh, shows you the White House, and you think right, saved. You then maybe exit the game, put a different GPU in, load up the game, back to that point at the White House. And then the next time, like a day or two later, you'd load it up and you'd be right back down the front lawn again and you'd have to go through all that again. And it's just, I haven't got time to do it. I want to be in the game, tested, get out, move on. Yeah, and there was something particularly in your face about it. Like it's rubbing it in that it was happening during a Christmas event and there's Christmas trees and presents everywhere. And it's still that now. It's yes. like, it hasn't updated. It's like, it's still Christmas. It's like, no, it's not. Oh, I don't know. Christmas stress. Time. Stress. What was the other one we ditched? Microsoft Flight Sim. Yeah, that's just because it wouldn't work. I think it should be banned that games have updates within the game. It yeah. should be that here is the game, updates are done through the client. So in that case, Steam or Microsoft Store or whatever. But with Flight Sim, when you download it, it's like one, no, 2.1 gig, I think, or 1.9 gig, something around Very two small. Very, very small. And then you load it up and it's like 125 gig download. No. Because it could get all the way through, crash, and everything corrupts, and then that's it. And I'm pretty sure that, you can't speed, verify. that speed within that launcher is limited it's, as well. Yeah, yeah, it's slower. It's not the same as what you would if you were downloading directly Doesn't it show you in through. megabits instead of megabytes as well? I don't know, Or maybe. at least it used to. Mm. Something's happening outside. Either way, not good. PUBG is better than Fortnite, and that says a lot. I mean, PUBG is big because of mobile. It's bigger on mobile than it actually is on you know, fully fledged computer. I've played a bit of PUBG and it was the most boring battle royale to me. Mm. No, that's not that's not fair. CSGO's battle royale <sighs> was just nothing. Mm. And then Ring of Elysium, it, it's it's gone. Ring of who? Elysium. Elys I don't know how to Elysium. pronounce it. Elysium. Elysium. Yeah. Well, I prefer Elysium, sounds better. <laughs> it clearly doesn't. It does, but that's dead, that's gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, what else we got? I don't like battle royales. Uh... So what you're saying is I need two Gen 5s in Raid and a 4090 to play Minecraft. RTX, yes. <laughs> not RTX, no. <laughs> nah, it's not that bad. It but... works pretty well, pretty well. Yeah, yeah. What would you say is the most, like, most intensive game now? Probably Alan, Alan Wake, Wake 2. Alan Wake 2. Yeah. So, now let's go overhead so people can see what's going on. Okay. So, bracket in the back. Lay it down. To a degree. Hold it for a sec. Screw it in. Job done. Uh, right, let's go through some chat. Uh, the dance was just a taste. Exactly. That Kraken cooler looks awesome. I do agree. It does actually look very, very nice. Is custom water cooling going to get your low, get you lower temps than AIOs these days? So yes and no. Um, the beauty with custom loot is generally you're going to have like multiple radiators, generally speaking. So you're going to have like two 360s. That's kind of, if you're going for something like a 4900K, that's probably what you're going to do. You're going to be buying something high end in terms of case it's going to have space for two 360s. What that means is you've got six fans, or potentially if you want to do push-pull on one of them or both of them, you could have nine or 12 fans. What it then allows you to do is either be really aggressive with the cooling. Um, obviously, you are going to have normalization of temperatures as it goes through. There's no such thing as having a hot spot. It always makes me laugh when people do custom loop, and they're like, you, you, know, you went through the GPU first instead of CPU, so that's going to get hotter, and then it's going to... I'm sorry, but no matter what way round you have it, the it's, fluid is going all the way round in a it's loop. It's all going to equalise. Exactly. So it doesn't matter in terms of loop order. Um, so you've got that. There is the argument for restrictions on a GPU compared to a CPU because of how much it has to go through. Yeah. But that's just going to, you know, change your flow rate. But then you can tweak that, you know, on your pump if you've got a decent pump anyway. So you've got the choice of being really aggressive with the temperatures or you've got the choice of sort of ramping down 
like lowering the fan RPM so everything runs basically virtually silent but still gives you good temperatures. So I feel like custom loop just gives you a little bit more control over stuff. To be fair, we haven't done um, a custom loop build for ages. I've never done it. Okay. I used to do loads. Um, I mean, for all, all it's worth, you're not actually going to get that much cooler of a temperature though, are you? No, you can. Like, I mean, you, is you it can, you so can... much cooler that it's worth the extra price? So custom loop, you can get like idle temperatures of like 27, 28 degrees mm. quite easily. Like, you know, without being really aggressive on the fan curves and stuff like that. You can have like, you know, full on load on something extreme like 60s. Hmm. And it looks baller. Like, that's the main thing. I think anyone going custom loop, the main reason they're going for it is aesthetics. Yeah, it's just you know, When very... you've got these tight bends and you've got chrome fittings and, you know, really pastel popped kind of looking coolant and stuff like that, that's where it kind of makes a big difference. So. It's very intimidating, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what else have we got? I still haven't tried Flight Sim. It's not bad. It's, I wouldn't call Flight Sim a game. It's not. It's a, it's a sim, right? The yeah, clue is in the name. But when people call it a game, it's like... I, I don't know. I think I mean, the word game gets lost in translation with it. It's got challenges and stuff to do. It's got a Top Gun Maverick yeah. thing. Do, 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 so like, do, 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 do. there's a game within it, but still one of the greatest films ever made. Top Gun Maverick, absolutely amazing. I haven't seen it. Amazing movie. Right. Uh, what else have we got? Fortnite seems really cheesy to me. It is. I, I don't think they're even trying to fight that. that it, it, it is cheesy. It actually annoys me the level the level of different companies and brands in it because it's like john cena i still not seen him because there's so <laughs> many <laughs> sorry i had to do that one there's so many <laughs> kids who are like oh it's got it's got this character i'm like you don't know what that's from mm. Mm. true true uh what else have we got uh so we've got a super chat thank you very much for the super chat i feel like i need to do the Fortnite dance now it's like the little like so, wait, you've done that one because someone going to do that? That doesn't seem like the appropriate dance for that. That, that Okay, that wasn't towards you, that was for you. <laughs> uh, but the Super Chat says, what PSU do you recommend for a 7800X3D, 7900XT combo? So the 7800X3D is only 120 watt part, I think it is. So it's, it's not actually that demanding, not that taxing. Easily get away um, with it. Unlike this little uh, bad boy, which can do like 241 watt. I think when you've fully unlocked it as yeah. a TDP. I think um, it's got much better idols though, hasn't it? Yeah, because it's got the e-cores. Yeah. So yeah, that drops down. Um, so you're not going to need a huge power supply for something like that. And then also the 7900 XT, unlike an NVIDIA card, it doesn't have the huge transient spikes, um, transient load problems where that was kind of the whole reason why ATX 3.0 and now coming up to ATX 3.1 came out because of the transient spikes. And um, for anyone who doesn't know, um, you might as well get the case up here anyway while I'm chatting. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, the whole point behind ATX 3.0 is there's certain standards within it that a power supply has to conform to to be ATX 3.0 or above higher. So obviously we have got 3.1 coming. One of them is that it needs to do double the wattage for a certain amount of time. I think it's like 100 nanoseconds or something like that. Something stupid. Um, to deal with that transient spike. Otherwise, you will find if you've got an older power supply and you had something like a 4080 Super, it might get to that point and then the power supply just can't handle it for that amount of time and the whole system shuts off. So that's why they did that. Um, so that's kind of one of the reasonings there. AMD don't have that problem. It's, it's an NVIDIA 40 series specific issue. So here's the case. <laughs> uh, so yeah, for something like a 7800X3D, 7900XT combo, you're talking like 750 watt would still give you headroom, but looking around the price difference between a 750 watt gold and an 850 watt gold, you're going to be talking like 10 pounds, $10. There really isn't much in it, so you might as well go for the 850. Also the same, you'll probably see at retailers now, bronze power supplies aren't as prevalent as what they used to be. be again, because people have upped their games with power... Didn't you think they've upped their game with power supplies recently? We're seeing yeah. better quality. We're not seeing all these cheap brand ones anymore. And because of that, again, the price difference between a bronze and a gold, five to ten pounds, dollars, something like that. So my opinion, 850 gold is going to be perfect for you. So uh, this is the H9 Flow. Flow basically means it has lots and lots of ventilation. So difficult to pull that off from this angle. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I'm trying. 
There we there go. There we go. I get the back so, off. Yeah, it's it is one of them fishbowl type kind of you know cases. We've all seen them, but it's definitely the way that the market's going. And I've got no. Everyone goes, oh, it's another Lee and Leo 11 dynamic. I've got no problem with brands doing something with maybe some tweaked features and making it cheaper and stuff like that. I've got no problem with that. The beauty that I love about cases like this is that you can strip them down really, really easily and get like full access to everything. So, I mean, let's leave that there. We can even, I've forgotten how the front one actually comes out. That one's screwed in, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna yeah so the front one's screwed in, so we need to take that out. But yeah, this is the case we're actually going to be giving away. So um, we will do the giveaway at the end of the stream. And it is going to be open to Europe. So uh, purely because of shipping, this thing is not light. So we are going to ship it to Europe. Um, if it's from the UK, if, you, if the winner is from the UK, you're going to get this exact one directly shipped from me. If you're in mainland Europe, NZX here are actually going to ship one out of their, I think it's German offices or German hub. So... Yeah, you're right. That one will fit. Wait, what bit? That should fit. What bit? Ding, ding, ding. Okay, so three screws. Uh, let's get back to some more comments. No, that's too small. Is it? Yeah. Is there any in here? There are, but there wasn't a two in there. So I need to go grab one from the other room. Uh, what size was that one? Is that a zero, zero? Because I've got a one. It was a 1.5. Oh, okay. So one's definitely not going to fit. I'll grab no the two. Worries. I know where it is. Cool, cool, cool. Right, uh, so where were we? Uh, mm? It wasn't hot. Uh, genuine question. I'm not really a gamer, but I'm getting more stuff in that I need to test with games. Recommend any that are cheap slash free that are good for benching. I suck at shooting games. Um, I mean... If you're testing CPUs, Shadow of the Tomb Raider is actually still a really, really good one for CPUs. Cyberpunk goes without saying. Now, when you are benchmarking, generally you don't actually want to be shooting because you're never going to be able to replicate that over and over and over. We'll show you at the end of this when we do run some games exactly how we do benchmark. We use a piece of software called CapFrame X. There's other ones out there called OCAT, which is AMD's version, or NVIDIA have one called FrameView. And all we do is we pick a start point and an end point. We basically run from there to there, even if this thing's going off and exploding, um, because even if it's inconsistent, as long as you are consistently inconsistent, it becomes consistent. Because you know, if the run is not the same the first time, the second time, the third time, the fourth time, it's still a consistent run then. Uh, so yeah, we will show you kind of how we do things, but Cyberpunk is always a good one for CPU and GPU. Shadow of the Tomb Raider is still, even though it's old, a great one for CPU. Um, what would you say most sort of, you know, intensive ones to test hardware? Alan Wake 2 for GPU, definitely. Uh, that's an obvious one. Cyberpunk, if you put ray tracing on, is it's very hard fun. hitting. Yeah. Uh, also good for, you know, showcasing the latest technologies in terms of path tracing and yeah. upscaling and stuff like that as well. Flight Sim was good for it. But... Flight Sim was great for CPUs because, yeah, it would really sort of show, like, the bottleneck and stuff like that. Yeah, remind me how this panel comes off? I don't Not remember. got a clue, but let's give it a go of... Oh, is there one underneath as well? No. Nope. I can't actually remember. Hmm. Oh, wait, actually, I can see two at the front. Oh, okay. There you go, then. Glad I could help. Um, other games. I'm trying to think what we actually use to test. Rift Breaker is great for CPU and GPU. It's That is actually an automated benchmark. So you go into the settings, you choose what you want, and then click run and walk away for two minutes. Um, so you yeah, there's quite a lot. I mean, have a look at the ones that we use. Um, you could probably take a, a big list out of that. Um, obviously, there are websites to get CD keys on. Just be careful and things like that if you're not buying from the official source. If you want a really basic test, mm. just get 3D Mark. Yeah, 3D Mark's always a good one. Um, are you still struggling with that? I still don't know how to take it off. Let's have a look. Surely it... Like, it wants to go. Yeah. So if anyone knows how to take the front panel off of a H9, let us know. I think you're going to have to look at the manual for that one. There are some screws at the bottom, actually. Uh, yeah, yeah, there are screws down there. Uh, um, someone also wanted to see the back of the NZXT board. Um, does it have a back plate and does it... And if so, does a full plate trap heat. So this hasn't got a full like back plate or anything on it. Um, it is literally just a bare PCB. 
Uh, but I'm fine with that, to be fair. You know, back plates generally are for, I'd say, rigidity more than style and aesthetics and stuff, because you're never going to see it anyway. Yeah, I mean, the um, point is that you're not meant to see the back of the board. Yeah. And even though it can help with cooling, I want to say like a lot of it really depends on if it has thermal pads on there and stuff like that. If it hasn't, then yeah, you're not really going to get anything out of it. So, so there is that. Uh, what else have we got? What do you think about this build? RTX 3060, Ryzen 5 5600, and B550 Pro VDH Wi-Fi. So the motherboard's a little bit cheap, but you know, um, I can see, yeah, it would work. It depends on if it's got, you know, the functionality and the features. Motherboards are never gonna give you extra performance. We've actually tested low-end motherboards of one chipset, high-end motherboards of the same chipset, and found that performance is within margin of error one to two percent between each other. Sometimes, actually, the lower board, margin of error performs better than the higher board. Really, it depends, has it got the features that you want? The right amount of USB ports, has it got Wi-Fi if you need it, has it got, you know, NVMe, whatever gen you need, and all that kind of stuff. So, so much of it comes down to that. Uh, what else have we got? You should try Rust for a benchmark. It's still, it's such an old game now though, isn't it? Rust. Yeah, also, I, I don't like it. Isn't Rust only online? Possibly, yeah. So the the problem with only online as well is it's really hard to replicate results. Um, so obviously I was saying earlier about being consistently inconsistent, which makes it consistent, but yay. So Brandon got it off. Um, 10 screws to get it off. Yeah. A little bit excessive. But yeah, with, um, with online games, it just it adds another element into the mix, and sometimes if the servers go down, you can't test and stuff like that, which Ooh. is really, really annoying. So, <clears throat> we now have a fully open, no A-pillar um, sort of area. Uh, we might as well take the fans out now, because okay. we're going to have to replace them anyway. Well, I mean... the RGBs. What's nice and convenient about that is something. Ooh. Gentleman bad boy, good afternoon, by the way. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, what else we got? Custom loops look great, but I'd be happy with an AIO. Uh, to be fair, an AIO is that happy middle ground of, you know, you want something, you want it to look nice. And I think AIOs are the reason, you know, the main reason is going to be you want it to look nice without sacrificing performance and that. And AIOs are obviously on the same level of performance as the high-end air coolers, um, like Notchua D15, D15S, the Deep Core Assassin 4, and Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 5s and stuff like that. So I can see there's an argument for both, but... AIOs are obviously the better looking out of them. Especially, you know, like the one we've got, which has got a screen on it and stuff like that. Hi, dear eTechnics team. Nice that you were doing a giveaway, but only write in the small print that it's for UK only. What a pity. Good GZ to the winner. Uh, it's not UK only, it is Europe only. Um, I don't want to say we wrote it in the small print. It's in the description. Yeah, we, we declared it as well. Yeah, yeah. And we said it on the stream as well. So I don't think we were being like underhanded with it or anything. If only there were decent GPU AIOs. So Sapphire do some every so often, but yeah, the Toxic, the last one, the 6950XT wasn't great in my opinion. I have to, I have to say I hate testing them. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're not easy to test with and stuff like that. But again, I can see kind of a point. Uh, Azus do it with their Matrix ones, but they do it every so often. Uh, what else have we got? I love EK, but the sheer amount of parts now stresses me out. I mean, they have got their part builder, which makes things, I guess, a little bit easier to, to sort of, you know, spec everything up. And they're actually quite prevalent on social media, so if you ever need help. Or, there is our Discord. Um, if someone who's on our Discord could put it in... Actually, I can do it. I'll put the link to our Discord in chat. There we go. It is the best Discord around. And... With a little bit of uncable managing the stock fans and yep. three screws. So, fans are out. We're going to replace them with RGB, so now we need to... Yeah. Are we sticking them. the AIO on this or at the top? Because uh, we did the top, top in our other system. We'll do it on the... Yeah. AIO on here, fans in the top. Okay, I was just asking because I think the reason we went for top is just because it's a little bit far. Maybe? Is it, so, where have we got it on our one? At the top? top. Yeah. All right, let's do top then. Okay. Yeah, let's do top. I don't want to potentially put it in and then have to take it back out again. So. I say me, you're doing it all. <laughs> so this is quite nice. I should have grabbed another beer. Uh, what else we got? Custom loop is expensive, but the cooling performance is great. Agreed. And it, yeah, it looks nice. That's the main thing for me. I went full custom loop, bent acrylic pipes, sub 40 degree on my 1080 Ti at full load, 18 degree ambient. Uh, what else we got? I love uh, Microsoft Light Sim, but I use it as a proper sim. 
Have you got like all the the full on like kit and everything? Or the I don't even know what it's called. throttle and yeah. Get your thrust master. Yeah. Microsoft Flight Sim will VR will stress your build. I I can imagine. It would stress your eyes. Mm. You imagine. Well, I can smell colours. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, UK or Europe only? I am lost there. Uh, Europe only. Yeah. So Europe. Anywhere in Europe, I believe we should be good. Uh, do, 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 do. What else we got? PSU for a Ryzen 9 5900X and a 4060 RTX. Again, I like you. You could get away with 650. I'd probably go one higher, go 750. But then again, when you're in the realms of using a 750 watt power supply, you might as well just go for an 850. There isn't much in between it, so uh, yeah. 850, I think, is going to become the new industry standard. standard. Yeah, unless you're using like a 4080 super and above, then you're looking at. I'd say I'd be more comfortable. Then... I'd, I'd be more comfortable with a thousand watt though. Yeah, but you'd still manage to do it depending on what CPU you've paired it with. Yeah. So I need to build my PC too that I got with an RTX 4080 Super. Which one did you get, Denny? Uh, what else have we got? I'm from the EU. Do, 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 do. I got a HX 1200. Don't need it that high, but I had it cheap. Hey, if you've got a good deal, then why not? Uh, let's have a look at some more chats. Are you giving away the case or the build? Just the case, I'm afraid. I'm not giving away a 14900K, an RTX 4080 Super, 2 terabyte SSD, and a 350 pound motherboard, I think. Especially since this is the only CPU and GPU we have of these particular ones. Yeah, of those particular SKUs, yeah. So yeah, just the case, but I think, you know, the, the case is still good. So. Uh, does anyone think GPU prices will ever be affordable? I would say they are right now. I'd, I'd say they're at the best they've been in the last two years. Here's the problem with stock, saying... Stock is a problem. <laughs> here's the problem with saying GPUs aren't affordable, blah, 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 blah. That's based on the older GPUs. Mm. But everything gets more expensive. It's just the way the things go. Bread's more expensive right now. So, so it's like, it's not like it's that expensive. You could say, oh, this one launched for this price, though. I was like, yeah, but how much did you use to pay for the newspaper? Yeah, yeah. So, like... Everything's gone up, so... It's not that bad. It's weird. It's it's almost like, you know, everyone's everyone complains about the prices of GPUs, but then on a Friday night, they quite happily go down the pub and spend, you know, 60, 70 quid. Yeah, like... And then moan that they have no money for bread and beans. <laughs> not that I'd buy beans. You don't like beans? Oh, I hate beans. Wow. So, a bit, bit of controversy on the stream here. Brandon doesn't like beans. It's a texture thing. Let me know in the chat. Do, you, do you like beans? If Talking Ace about baked beans, chat. like Heinz baked beans. If Ace is in the chat, they're going to be like, oh, beans. Love beans. Beans, beans, they're good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you like them. <laughs> the more I eat, the more I wish I didn't eat. Uh, does anyone... What else we got? Does nobody use Prime 95 anymore? We do occasionally to do VRM testing. That is the only time we use Prime 95. Yeah, only for CPU stuff. Only for CPU stuff. Uh, motherboard stuff. I thought we used it for CPU stuff. Maybe. I can't even remember. I don't know. When when I do testing, I just kind of go into autopilot. I just sit there and I, I know what I'm doing. and yeah. I'm just like, here's a list of everything that needs doing. I know how to do all of it. I yeah. just need to remember what order it is. Yeah. yeah. So I do use Tomb Raider, actually, but good to know the inconsistency issues with benching games. Everyone, every day is a school day. I want the best accuracy for results. So all advice is great. I use 3D Mark II. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, whatever you do, do not use the benchmark tool. Yeah, don't use the benchmark tool. Um, if a game has a benchmark tool, best thing you can do is run it once, run it again, and then run it again. Take the results and work out the mean average of those three results. You know, It will be within margin of error. So you get 150 frames, 148, and 152. So you're still at 150. Then go into the game, use cat frame, frame view, or OCAT, and do a run and see what kind of frame rate you get. See how consistent it is. Do some, you know, run after run after run of the same run, pick a point, pick a point, run from there to there and record it. And I can guarantee you in the majority of the games, it will be so wildly different to what the benchmark figures are giving you. Because you've got to remember the developers are developing the benchmark portion of their game or the benchmark tool to run a certain way. They want it to look amazing. So when you share your figures, it's like, ah, oh, here you go, look at this, blah, blah, blah. So what you're, wanna, what you're wanting to look for is actually, are the figures from running a benchmark tool and running the game natively as if you were playing it, 
within the same realms of each other. Obviously, the scene is different, so you can give, you know, a margin either side of it and things like that. But if you're talking like you just got 150 frames, but then when you actually run the game, pick, you know, multiple scenes, multiple areas within the game. Try and find the most intensive areas. Look on Reddit and YouTube videos and stuff like that. And try and find that information and see... I don't know, maybe you're getting 70 frames per second. So therefore, the benchmark tool isn't actually a true representation of the game. So ditch it. So that's what generally we do. I try and find, you know, is it actually a true representation of the game and go from there. And on that topic, there's a slight PSA. Just because you watch a video where someone else's <laughs> results don't match a different video you've seen doesn't mean either of them is inaccurate. Yep. Because it is scene dependent. But you're if saying our benchmarks, testing, our benchmarks are different from Hard Round Boxed and Gamers Nexus. How is this? We must be wrong. Even though they're different from each other as well. It, it cracks me up. It really does. Don't, mm. don't go around accusing people of having incorrect <laughs> results. Yeah, because... I, I don't waste my time testing to get wrong results. It's... Yeah, it's like... If you're that concerned, you could always do it yourself. Mm. And if you say, oh, but I don't have the card, then you obviously have a bias towards a specific reviewer. Just stick yeah. to them. Yeah. yeah. It's quite funny because the amount of times we get compared to hardware unboxed, admittedly, our sets look very, very similar. I've been using these shelves for many, many years. I did have a chat with them the other day. They were using white shelves before us. I haven't had a copyright or a, I, they haven't tried to sue me yet, but you know, I can, I can smell it in the air. But it's one of them. Our shelves are from Ikea. Their shelves are like handmade and stuff like that. So it is what it is. Um, but yeah, we get compared against Hardware Unboxed. I actually check a lot of figures with Steve. He checks a lot of stuff with me, especially on like launch dates and stuff like that. It just, it cracks me up how people kind of read the industry. And it's yeah. Like, yeah, it is, it is quite funny. It's a, particularly funny in that case <laughs> because people are like, oh, your results are so, you're similar. You're so similar. It's like, mm. I mean, that's because you are going to each other directly to be like, are you having this issue or are you ha having these yeah, yeah. kind of results? And be like, yeah, I am. Yeah. Okay, you're confirming with each other that that's the way it is. Mm. So, yeah. It is what it is. Right, we've got a couple of super chats, so I'll do them first and then we'll go back through the rest of the comments. If you do want us to yeah, get straight on with your, your comments, then feel free to do a super chat. First one from Pony Up. What AIO do you recommend for a Lian Lee 216? Whatever fits and whatever looks nice. I don't even know... I think I've had a 216 before. Let's have a look. My recommendation is whatever you like. Yeah. As long as it's got good reviews and stuff and hasn't got problems with leaking fluid everywhere. So the 216... Oh, I remember that one. It's got two great big fans at the front. What one is it? This one. Oh, okay, yeah. Mm. This one. That one. Yeah. Uh, so Lee and Lee 216... Yeah, it's got two 160 mil fans in the front. So AIO, you're not going to get in the front unless it has the ability to take them two fans out, but then it kind of doesn't make sense to do that. Um, it supports a 360 rad at the top, front, and a maximum of 10 fans. Yeah. Um, so if it was me, I'd keep the two big fans at the front. You're going to get a great amount of airflow from it, as well as you know quiet temperatures, because the bigger the fan, the lower it needs to run to push the same amount of CFM. So I'd keep with that, and I'd put a 360 in the top. The Leon Lee Galahads are actually really, really nice if you wanted to go with that. The NZXT cooler that we're using, really, really nice. Thermal Taker got some good stuff. There's EK with their Nucleus is really good, and you look confused. Yeah, I'm just wondering what you want to do next. Um, we're putting fans in here. Yeah, let's get the fans in there. Okay. Yeah, get the fans into there. Um, so, yeah, hopefully that helps. If you need any more help with buying decisions, link to our Discord is somewhere in the chat, just below your super chat, actually. Uh, more than happy to help. We've got a really, really good Discord server. Um, we pride ourselves on it not being toxic. Uh, so, yeah, so many discords out there are just full of idiots and stuff. Uh, as soon as we see that, we just ban them, kick them and all that. We also have a super special Patreon area on there. So if you are a Patreon, then, you know, there's that. You've forgotten which way uh, the fans are in, haven't you? That goes that way. We want it <laughs> that way because we want it to be an intake, right? Yes. Yes. So it's going yep. like that. Yep. Yeah. It won't look as nice, I guess, but... Yeah. I mean, that's the nature of fans, right? That it is. I mean, that's where all of these companies are getting into... Actually, it should go that way because... Oh, these reverse way. fans. Yeah, all the yeah. Yeah, companies getting that into way, that. The blade spin, yeah. Uh, Gadget Joe, as you know, things have been good for me lately and I'm feeling positive, so grab yourself a crate from me. Plus, I want a little dance too. I'm not doing the Fortnite dance again. Um, I could do, like, you know, the old, like, 60s style. Oh, I could do the... Like, the how about... It's kind of a, I'd call this a dance move, like the whole little like swing and. Is it a dance move? I'd say that is. Uh, yeah. 
Your turn. I don't know any <laughs> I'm building this PC. Ah, uh, sorry, Joe. He's 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 let you down. He's let the team down. He's let the side down. So, uh, at least you didn't auction off someone's off someone's prototype. So you hear about that? The whole Linus thing. They had oh, a. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What was it? Wasn't it like a copper? Was Banana. it? A, I think it was a copper, like, cold plate... Um, it was some cooling block. thing. Was it like a water block? Copper? Someone remind me. I think it was like a copper water block or something like that. But um, I don't think it actually got auctioned in the end. There was, I guess... I don't want to comment too much because it's not my place to do so. And I don't want to, like, crap on another YouTuber or whatever. Um, but, yeah, there was definitely some, let's call it miscommunication. But then it did seem like the company tried everything they could to get in touch with them and it just fell on deaf ears so yeah see we have um we have a policy we don't unless previously agreed we keep everything that we get sent so hence why we're now giving away cases because i've run out of space we have a room next door which has over 100 cases in it uh, maybe i'll give some away on discord another reason to join discord uh, but yeah, we have that policy because I don't want this whole like we said this and you said that and there was miscommunication, especially when you're dealing with brands who are based in Germany, France, the Netherlands, Asia, so China, Taiwan and that. Sometimes there is communication barriers and things like that. And I don't want it to be we said this, but this happened and they said that and that happened and it just confuses things. So we just have a blanket policy. You're not getting your sample back unless we previously agreed it. Uh, what else have we got? Ah. Uh... Would you recommend the H9 over the H6 Flow? <laughs> we have one over there actually, NZXT H6 Flow, and I think we might actually do another live stream with the H6 Flow. So I think that really depends on your space construction. Yeah, the it? H9 is definitely bigger. The H6, I think, is probably about the same width. I haven't seen it. Actually. Okay, so the H6, I think, is about the same width, but the H9 is definitely bigger. And yeah, I think a lot of it depends on budget, depends on what you're looking for from a case, and the space constraints that you have. Ooh. Um, Obviously, I've I've seen it. I saw yeah. uh, Pete did a review of it on yeah, yeah. on e Yeah, so we've got the review on etechnics.com. But so. I've not seen it out of the box. Oh, okay, I'm planning to use the 7800X3D. Good chip. Azrock X670E, still legend. Would avoid it like the plague. Uh, and a 7900XT. Uh, good time actually, because the price has just come down on them. Or should I go with a Fractal Design Torrent? Ah, oh, see, I love the Torrent. It the Torrent is, but it's big. It's Big. It's like basic in the most design sense. I mean, they've like, gone, yeah, they've gone talking, simple. Big fans in the front. And... If you take take away everything, it is the most bog standard case you can get. But it This has done... got more function, and function features, functionality, that yeah. kind of thing. Definitely. But the thing with the Torrent is it is very good at cooling. But it's very big. Yeah, it's but... It's bigger, than, like a lot, lot bigger than this. Is if... it wider than this? Because for me... yes. For me, the width is probably more important than the height. Because with height, mm. I mean, from my desk to my ceiling, there's plenty of space. Yeah. But how much... Desks. Really space, space, yeah. like, that, that's why I really like the NZXT H1. Because, like, the, my kids are getting NZXT H1s because they don't have yeah. a lot of desk space. They're over there. And we are going to be doing a build where both my kids actually do, like, a build-off against each other. But it takes up a small... Footprint is the best word. Mm. It's got a small footprint and just... You know, maximizes the height and acts a bit like a chimney sort of system. If it was me, I'd probably go with the H9. It's the better case in terms of functionality, features, and stuff like that. But not taking away the torrent is a is a gorgeous looking case. Um, but if you're after performance, I think I don't know. With all the fans installed in this, this would look better and give you the same sort of performance as what a torrent would. Yeah, but the torrent is more expensive, so probably by the time you've bought all the fans for this, they'll probably work out about the same sort of price. Uh, what have we got? PC gaming has just got so expensive the last couple of years. But I, again, arguing, you know, so is everything. So yeah, it is getting PC gaming it's in particular better. is getting cheaper. I think particularly as the adoption rate is skyrocketed because after the COVID nineteen pandemic, mm. so many people were jumping on PC building. Yeah, that like. Supply it's a huge space now. Supply couldn't like keep up with it at the time either. And that's half the problem. When people say, oh, I would have loved to have got a 4080 Super, but I can't because they're just not available. Um, and, you know, when they are available, they're like $1,200 instead of like $999. Mm. Well, the reason they're so expensive is because there is no supply. Um, so I was actually chatting to NVIDIA earlier and in O3D. I went out for lunch and uh, 
yeah, we were talking about all these different things. And the problem is they can only set the MSRP price. It's the manufacturer's suggested retail price. Yeah. Just like RRP is the recommended retail price. So they say, this is the price that we want you to, to hit. Retailers can sell it for whatever the hell they want. That's entirely up to them. So blame the retailers, not the brands. Yeah, it remind it makes me think of um, so many people are getting so excited with stuff like Hogwarts Legacy, best-selling game. Oh, the, the best-selling game on Steam has been outsold by this. Oh, now it's Power World is the biggest-selling game ever. And I'm like, I mean, it's not impressive because there's more PC gamers than there's ever been. Yeah. And especially with Power World, it is the most bog-standard, generic title you can go for. Of course it's got mass appeal. Still not as big as mobile gaming. No. But... Mobile gaming is just huge. But I had to get a quick dunk in on yeah, Power World yeah. there. But... No, that's fine. But separate to that, I mean, there's more PC gamers than there has ever really been. Yeah, so yeah. of course it's going to have more and more records breaking constantly. Yeah. No, I completely agree. Right, I need to get through some of these comments because I'm like three scrolls up now. So uh, mm. I'm still on the 2080 Super. It's not working very good, but oh my God, way too expensive to get a new GPU. Mm. To be fair, if I was looking at a new GPU right now and I didn't want to spend, you know, stupid amounts of money, like 4080 Super or anything like that, I'd be looking at a 7800 XT. It is the best value GPU you can get right now. I mean... Personally, but you like Nvidia. Personally, I'd go for Nvidia because I like ray tracing. Seventy eight hundred XT can do ray tracing. Can't do uh, frame gen. It can't do frame gen. No. It ca it doesn't do fake frames. Yeah, but it's coming. So, uh, what else we got? Uh, I'm still using RTX 2070. Ten screws. Was it ten screws? Take off that front bit. Yes. Ten screws. It was ten screws. Can confirm. It was. Three at the top of the front, two at the side, and then the same on the bottom. Those EK Direct Die AIOs are interesting if you hate warranties. I, wi I wipe my backside with warranties. To be fair, all the stuff we get, we technically don't get warranties on because no. they're not sales stock. So. <laughs> we'll just contact the company and go, it broke. Can the 7600 X be overclocked to perform closer to the X version? I'm guessing you meant the non-X. Uh, yes, it can. Uh, but to be fair, you're better off just setting precision boost overdrive and let it do its own thing. Um, you're not going to see huge amounts of performance difference from it. Uh, what else we got? I have to order all my PC parts from England as Northern Ireland has no good stores. Yeah, I mean, you've got like Amazon and things like that as well. Uh, what else we got? Can't play flight sim in VR as I get bad uh, vertigo. 1500 watt titanium or bust. Hey, I still like some of the titanium and platinum uh, SFX power supplies. How they manage to get that good of stuff inside such a small thing is, yeah. Should I upgrade my i5 11400F to an 11900K or change platform? If so, what would people recommend? Um, it all depends on your cost to change. So I always like to look and advise people based on, don't look at the price of what something is. Look at the price of what it is minus the price of what you can sell the old part for. That's your cost to change. Just like when you buy a car, right? I used to sell cars for a living. Put on my shady, uh, dodgy car salesman hat. Um, but yeah, a lot of it comes down to that. Obviously, you are going to get a performance boost going from an 11400F up to 11900K. But it actually might work out around the same sort of prices, like changing your motherboard and then getting something like a 13400F compared to 11900K. It might cost a little bit more, but not like huge amounts more. So I'd be looking at the cost to change. I meant the non-X version. I thought so. Uh, Jacob hates beans. Wow. You two belong with each other. Beans on toast with brown sauce. No, no sauce. You don't need sauce. It's in like a ketchup-y type tomato so, sauce anyway. I don't like beans on toast, obviously. Mm. I like spaghetti hoops on toast. Mm. But you know what I love is have a fried egg with it. Mm, okay. No, no. Baked beans with cheese. I mean, you got to put cheese on it, of course. Or melted. No. Is, fried egg, toast. I don't even know what this is. Is Antutu good for PC or just mobile? Is that a game? I don't know. What's Antutu? Don't know. Have we just been duped? Yeah. Is that some trick? Apparently Brandon is smelly. I mean, From maybe. Base Hunter. Is that Ace? No. Oh, okay. So it's just someone you know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, thinking the same about Shadow of the Tomb Raider. It's weird how intensive Shadow of the Tomb Raider still is. And the best thing is when you use something like Cat Frame and it comes up with a little overlay using Reva Tuner, it will tell you the CPU percentage that it's using, the GPU percentage and kind of, what are you doing? And all that stuff, so definitely uh, worthwhile talks. Watching the stream on SkyQ slash TV and you have YouTube app open on phone for chat. Nice. How does it look on a TV? So how's the quality? Because we have got this at normal latency instead of uh, ultra low. No, not ultra low. Normal, we've got it low now. So the quality might suffer a little bit. By the sounds of it, you've got the Nintendo Switch Online experience. What's that? 
For, do you not know about this? No. Nintendo Switch Online, if you want to use the voice chat, you have to use a mobile app, Ugh. not the Switch. That's so you awful. have to have like headphones plugged into your phone, and then your Switch is separate. Oh, okay. It doesn't work very well. <laughs> Good job, Nintendo. And then you pay job. you're paying an online subscription fee for that. <laughs> Should we tilt this? Uh, yeah, let's put it down here, yeah. and we can. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do this part. Make sure the cables are. There we go. We we might as well like we've got the camera there. We might as well use. Ooh, look at this. Use it. So, yeah. Uh, right. Let's go through some other stuff. How long does it take you to do all your benchmark? It must take ages. Uh, so when we do the head-to-heads, 40, 42 games, three resolutions, so that's 126 tests. How long do you reckon? Um, Six hours? I, I mean, a head-to-head, -head, we can get all the testing done in a day, but it's never that simple. No, things go wrong. The thing is, when we do the head-to-heads, like the 42 games... Um, we would have already tested 16 games because when we do a launch day review, we already test 16 games. Unless a driver comes out or an update that is so detrimental to the game that it's going to lead to performance increases or performance drop, we know that that data is basically good. Um, so then all it is is 42, take away 16, and we test the rest. So it's not as long as what you might think. And then while we're editing a video or we've got some other stuff and I've got a little bit of downtime, I'll park myself in front of a computer, maybe start writing a script on one computer and then running a game while it's loading back into the you know the menu screen or back onto the desktop to load the next game. I'll, t I'll turn back and start writing a script again and things like that. So it's really trying to like maximize your time as much as you physically can. But yes, it takes a long time. <laughs> uh, whereas we've got... Uh, I'm using the Corsair 7000D. It's a bit too big. It is a big case. Um, what's that one that Jacob's got now? The CTE 700 Air from Thermal Take. That's ridiculous as well. Ouch with the line of stabber. I didn't stab him. I mean, he's in Canada and I'm in England. Couldn't, I'd be impressed if you stabbed him. Couldn't reach that far. I just made it sound like I'm a typical Brit now. It's like, oh God, you Brits and your knives. Because it's always going on. No. I don't know. An I've Intel i9 London. 14th gen needs all the possible big space and cooling. Do you know what? We we use the 14th gen for some stuff. It's not as bad as what people think it is, to be fair. Awesome it knows cable. when to heat up and cool down and sort of all that jazz. I mean, CPUs are good at regulating themselves. Yeah. It's kind of what they're meant to do. Yeah. Uh, I think it was a copper water block. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, it was their only one. No. That's why I fell off LTT personally. And you found us instead. So, you know, their loss is our gain, right? I can tell you why I fell off LTT. Why is that? It's because I started working here and I realised how much m less effort they put in for testing. So again, I don't want to like, you know, it's not my place to say, but... I'm there's... just talking quantity though, I should specify. Okay, I mean... We they... do so much more testing. We do. We also do less videos. They publish like one a day minimum across like multiple channels and stuff. Yeah. And they, they, they go a different route. So they've gone more of the entertainment route. It's almost a lifestyle thing at some points. And mm. if that's what you're into, I get it. Yeah, It's not super hardcore in depth, but I was kind of looking for product reviews fully. Yeah, I mean, we test in, yeah, like 42 games. We show 16 um, when we actually do like, you know, 16 individual lots of data. Um, and then we show the percentage differences across like all 42. If you do want to access the individual data for it, we do actually put up charts and we're working on making more up on the Patreon as well so you can see that in its you know full entirety. Whereas, yeah, a lot of YouTubers, and I'm not saying Linus, but there are a lot of YouTubers, they're testing like four games and be like, well, done, you know. Which it, it's not enough to get a well-rounded picture of kind of what's going on in terms of overall averages, cost per frame, are these games... Like Ratchet & Clank does really, really bad in the lows on NVIDIA. Yeah. Red Dead Redemption does really, really well on averages in AMD. So you get to sort of see, well, I play that game, so it does this, so this card's better for me. I see, I play that game, whereas four games just doesn't cut it. Yeah, and you can kind of look at a game and see, okay, this game is made by the same developer as this game within this time span. You can kind of yeah. guesstimate a little bit. That was it, Billet Labs. That was the one about the whole prototype thing. So, oh, okay. Yeah, uh, I'm still traumatised from the cases in the other room. So am I, every single day. That's why I don't go in there. Oh, I don't know. Uh, do, 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 do. What else we got? They used it on the wrong GPU. <laughs> Again, yeah, I think that was the case. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to 
sort of go on more about that. What's your thoughts on the Montex Sky 2? I've not seen it, I've not dealt with it, I've not used it, so I can't really comment. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, sorry. Uh, what is it got? Right, where are we at? Right, it's in. Okay, so it's in. AIO, I guess, if we get it onto the bracket, we can then yeah. paste it and do, uh, power do, supply. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll do the EPS first. Even though this is a big case, we've just kind of learned over the years that it's better to put in the EPS power connector because you just you have all this room to get it in whereas when an AIO is there you are going to be somewhat restricted you're going to lose like that much yeah. space yeah. so like it's kind of just a good habit to get into to, to do that and it's going to come out like here so you're going to be trying to yep uh, DDR5 RAM prices are up SSD prices are up as well uh, I mean they they are probably the most volatile in terms of PC components to go up and down more constantly gpus go up and they go down but we're talking you know it will go up and it will stay up for like months on end whereas memory and ssds you know they use the same thing right in terms of ic's chips and stuff they go up and down like on a daily basis uh what's got do you think the 4080 super is worth it yes i i do um the 4080 i did think was too expensive and i know people said well why didn't they just you know cut the price of the 4080 um, they physically couldn't because it was already the silicon was already you know done it was already processed in the fab plants so that's why you'll find the difference between the 4080 and the 4080 super are actually different silicon so ad 103 ad 104 so they are different so obviously they pay um you know same with intel amd nvidia they pay tsmc or you know they have their own fabs and stuff and they pay them to basically make this silicon it gets binned it says right it is this it's ready for that and they managed to find a way to you know cheapen the process so then they made a new silicon specifically for that they've already money has changed hands and that's why it's cheaper now the fact that you have the 4080 super at 999 the 7900 xte xtx is the better performing card when it comes to rasterization the 4080 super is better when it comes to ray tracing the overall better arguably is the 4080 super it also has dlss free with frame generation and all that kind of stuff as well so yeah, for nine nine nine, you know, it's forty dollars more expensive than the XTX, which has only recently had a price cut because the forty eighty super came in at nine nine nine. What time are we on? Quarter to six. Quarter to six. So yeah, it's been a long day. Just need to find one cable. So we're going to get the power supply in. So we are using the NZXT C one thousand. This is an eighty plus gold power supply. Little side note. Don't even know if I should be saying, but NZXT are releasing new power supply soon. I believe they are releasing their ATX 3.0 ones. They might even be ATX 3.1, I don't know. But yeah, they are coming very, very soon. So that is happening. That makes sense. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, they've, they've been a little bit late with it, I guess. I thought it was 3.0, so no. I was looking for the cable. What, 12 VHP WR? Yeah, it doesn't have it. So you don't actually have to be a ATX 3.0 power supply to have 12 VHP WR. I mean, just it's not part of the specifications. Though. Yeah, they do because it just lined up at the same sort of time that it was like, well, we might as well do this then. But you know, Corsair they bought out uh, twelve VHP WR cables to plug into your old existing power supply. Yeah, I mean that's just the same thing as the mm -hmm. adapters the cards come with. No, no, they've got a direct cable. Yeah, but I mean, it's not it, an extension. It does the same thing though. Yeah, yeah, but it plugs directly. In, it just takes that neater. It takes two eight pins. That connector. Yeah, it takes it two eight pins. But yeah, it's just a little bit cleaner, a little bit nicer and stuff like that. So, 4080 Super at $1,000 is worth it. More, well, one of Andy's past. I'm trying to keep up with the chat here. It's just, yeah. Uh, looking for some help, please. I have the motherboard F1A75M Pro and I have a constant green light and the computer won't boot up. Any help would be appreciated. Head on over to our Discord. That's the best thing I can say because it could be quite a lengthy one. Um, so I will put the link to that in the chat. Discord. So there's the link to the Discord. And if you want to help support us, then you can over on Patreon, where you get a whole access of super cool goodies, including a Patreon live stream that we actually did. Um, before this live stream. Where you get to see us drink and swear. Yeah, you get to see us drink and swear. So that's always a, a fun one. Um, and yeah, we just sort of talk about, you know, some behind the scenes stuff. Uh, you do get access to a super special area on our Discord where you do get access to behind the scenes content. We do the occasional behind the scenes video as well. 
showing you around the offices. We also do an e-technics meetup for anyone who wants to come, uh, where we camp in a field and we do some fun stuff in the offices and that kind of stuff. So real kind of, yeah, behind the scenes stuff going on. Uh, but yeah, loads of cool stuff. You also get 10% off of the eTechnics merch store. So, um, and yeah, it does help support us like you wouldn't believe because I am in the process of having to buy every game that we use. So then 42 games, I have to buy them again for a secondary Steam account so we can run them on two different systems at the same time from our NAS. So basically the money that we get from Patreon helps me buy games so we can make more content. So there is that. Same with the Super Chats, which I appreciate everyone who's done one so far. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Good evening, FIB Goldberg. How are we doing? Welcome, sir. Or madam. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I did seven games as a one-person band. Could be worse then. Hey, seven games is good. I'm trying to do this for the camera, but this is a really awkward angle. Why didn't you turn it on its side and do it from the top camera? Because it wouldn't have been in focus. True. True. The joys of focus. Uh, so yeah, uh -huh. what have we got? Now oh, there you go. So yeah, when you're building power supply, fan on the outside, so you're obviously bringing in uh, that that cool, sweet air. Should I use the screws from the case or the power supply? Yeah, use the ones for the case. That way we know the power supply is all good. Uh, what else have we got? Richard Stoles loves NZXT. Yeah, so Richard Stoles is actually the guy that we surprised. Uh, he was working here then, wasn't he? When I went to, I drove many miles and yes. yeah. So basically we teamed up with NZXT. Uh, so Richard Stiles is one of our Patreon members. He's on our Discord and everything as well. And um, yeah, he was going through some stuff in his life, um, health things and that. So I built a PC. Um, actually, I should probably give the full backstory. The full backstory. Um, we gave away a graphics card, MSI graphics card, and a guy in Scotland um, won it, a guy called Jeff Carling. I don't even know if you know this story. I, none of this is familiar. Okay, so we gave away a graphics card a couple of years ago. It was an MSI graphics card. And a guy had won it in Scotland called Jeff Carling. And the graphics card that Jeff was replacing that with, he had a 5700 XT, I think it was, that he'd won um, from somewhere, some other competition. Wasn't lucky. Yeah, so, I mean, this was, you know, a few years before. So, uh... When he won the graphics card, he told me that he actually he was going to send me the 5700 XT because obviously he had no use for it now. Yeah. And he, he won that one. And he said all, all he wanted from me was to uh, to give it to someone in need. So Gookie came along, Richard Stiles came along. He was going through some stuff in his life. So I said, I'm going to give him that graphics card. But I thought, why don't we do one better? So we teamed up with NZXT. We got case, power supply, cooler. Everything NZXT did, keyboard, mouse, the whole works. Microphone too, right? Microphone as well. Uh, we teamed up with, and the boom arm, I think, as well. Yeah. We, uh, we teamed up with AOC, who supplied a really nice monitor, and I built it all, and we drove to his house, and, yeah, in conjunction with his wife and his daughter and everything. He didn't have a clue what was going on. Uh, the link is actually uh, in the chat now. Jacob has just put it in. And we surprised him at his house with a brand-new PC. And... Uh, yeah, it's, watch the video, it's it's really, really good. Um, I then found out a couple of months after that um, Jeff, the guy who donated the graphics card, died. Oh, really? Yeah, so he had cancer, so he passed away. Um, but yeah, it's, it was a, a nice thing from a, from a lovely person. We just, I don't know, took it one step further and, and yeah, helped someone out, so. Ah. <sighs> So yeah, sorry for that one. A bit of an emotional roller coaster one, but you know, it was um, yeah, it was just an amazing thing that we could do um, thanks to yeah someone who supplied us with a graphics card and yeah, no, it was, it was lovely and yeah, may you rest in peace, Jeff. Fantastic person. I mean, so, yeah. Having the privilege to be able to do that kind of thing yeah. is something else, isn't it? Yeah, oh, it was amazing. Really, really was. So. Uh, what else have we got? Let's try and liven things back up again. Uh, C850 and C1000 need the NZXT adapter. The C1200 is ATX3. Only, I think they brought out a new one and that's like superseded the old ones, I think. I can't even remember. We use one in our GPU test bench, so. 
Uh, what else we got? That's a cool story. Thank you. It was, um, yeah, it was a hard video to do, but um, it was it was nice to do. So, power supplies in. We've obviously got all the cables and everything being sorted. We're There's still a lot of cables in terms of the fans and things like that, which are all going to go into a hub. But, uh, you know, we're, we're getting there. Can Brandon's we, blocking the camera for the most part, but, you know, we're, we we're getting there. Okay, so we're going to use two hubs for this. Uh, we have obviously got all the front panel stuff, so USB, um, HD audio. The great thing with NZXT is their front panel is they actually just have a connector. They don't have all the separate ones, which is really, really nice. So, uh, yeah, NZXT are like the only brand who do that. Obviously, I know motherboard manufacturers have their G connector or their Q connector and stuff like that, but yeah, that is just easy. So, so easy. And I wish more brands kind of, yeah, did that, so. I completely stuck. <laughs> I was like, you're going to say something. <laughs> Just a message to all the brands out there. Everyone's always accusing you of stealing from other brands anyway. So I'll happily let you steal this idea. Yeah, just yeah. steal this idea. What was the other thing that we want all companies to steal from other companies? The standoff in the middle for the motherboard with like the little... They, most of them do it. that now. Most of them, yeah. There's still some who don't. You know when you actually put the motherboard in, it kind of holds in place on that middle one? Yeah. Ooh. Just makes sense. So, NZXT yeah. was actually my first experience of that. Uh, okay. I had a, oh, what was it? H440, I want to say. Oh, okay. Currently, Ace's PC, actually, Ooh. is in that. Yeah, nice. Right, Ooh, what look at that. Uh, comments have we got? It's awesome, and I feel extremely privi privileged to still be here. Happy days, man. Enjoy the PC. It's always good to be kind to others. I've been helped a lot in the past by some people in the chat and by you. You have no idea how much it means to get help, so always help whenever you can. I actually remember, Joe, we did a live stream. During COVID, I did quite a few live streams because no one had any work to do, everyone was at home. So I was like, do you know what? Like, It's hard producing videos because there was no new stuff. So we did live streams all the time, um, which was, yeah, really, really just easy to do and make content. And I think we did a charity one and uh, I donated the money to, um, yeah, to a charity in the UK. Admittedly, the charity name is the worst name in the world. What is it? Guts. <laughs> so, yeah, um, for anyone who like suffers with like IBS and things like that, oh, it's okay. a charity yeah. for that. But yeah, it, I mean, it's a stark like you know what it is. It's like, oh, who's that charity? Guts. It's like, oh, yes, I've heard oh, of them. Yeah. Guts. Yeah. Uh, that middle peg is a godsend. Reserve a little bit of hate for any manufacturer that doesn't. Yeah, no, I agree. Anyone who doesn't have it is just, I don't know. So yeah, this is the build so far. So motherboard is in. Uh, let's get that 24 pin in. I've reserved the SATA that we need for the... That can be pulled hubs. back through. Um, 24 pin, there we go. There we go. I mean, that is looking very, very clean so far, which is good. We'll get these cables hidden so you can't see that it's not tidied properly yeah. later. Yeah. To be fair, I'm all about the business side. I don't care too much about the cable side. So <laughs> Business in the front, party in the back. Yeah, that live stream meant the world to me and mostly my wife. Happy days. Uh, guts, woo, shout out. I, I don't know how you're affiliated with them, Jordan. I'm, I'm guessing maybe, I don't know. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be as bold to say I have um, medical issues, I guess, in the digestive area. So, you know, um, I'll happily admit that. It's one of the things of like, it shouldn't be taboo anymore. People should talk about it. So that's the only way that things are going to get better and you know, they'll find cures for certain things. So. I don't think having a illness should be taboo at all. No, but when it's about like digestion and like, oh my God, you know, you have to like, I don't know, for certain people, they have to run to the toilet and things. It, it just becomes one of them subjects. And I never thought I'd be doing a live stream where we talk about this. Uh, it's. No. It's human nature. I mean, there's no point being embarrassed because, I mean, that's just how it is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hello from Germany. Hello, willkommen. Everyone gets... Meine Deutsch ist nicht so gut. Oh, everyone gets sick at some point. You could look at the most attractive person in the world and, you know, they've had a bad night on the toilet. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. it doesn't really matter. So, yeah. Where was that, um... You don't know any German, do you? I mean, I shouldn't say it on stream, but... Oh, okay, no, don't do that. No, someone said hello from Germany, so, yeah. Right, where are we at? What are we doing? This panel. Get the AIO. Yes. In so, the thingy. Let's get the AIO on and uh, go from there. 2080 Super Power Daisy Chain or not? So, if you can avoid it, do it. If you can't, 
Doesn't matter. The amount of uh, the amount of videos and people I've seen be like, oh, you shouldn't daisy chain. It's like it really doesn't matter. And I the mean, funny thing, these are the same people who say that you know that connector can only deliver 150 watts. So a six pin apparently can only deliver 75 watts, and an eight pin 150. As far as I remember, the extra two pins are grounding pins, so they're not actually giving any more power. And at the other end, the power supply end, it's still an eight pin, which can deliver 342 watts. Mm. So ignore everything. If Here you is... want to know more about power supply stuff, we've got a video on the channel with the man himself, Johnny Guru, John Jarrell of Corsair. Um, yeah, we dispel a lot of stuff, especially when it comes to like the 12 VH BWR and stuff. Here's a really important thing to note on um, the power thing. Mm. If you shouldn't do it and it's bad, mm. the yeah. cables wouldn't come like that. Yes. Yeah, true. But I'm only thinking daisy chain because it looks better. Yeah, I mean, if you want to go with that, it's not going to do any harm. Like I say, it can pull 342 watts-ish um, margin of error and all that jazz from there. So, Jacob, cheers for the link. I'm guessing that's the one with, uh, yeah, we did an interview with Johnny Guru, Mr. John Jarrell himself. I think in-house we were just calling him Johnny Corsair. Johnny Corsair. Got like Johnny Silverhands from Cyberpunk. <laughs> Except less, Johnny Power Supply hands. Less of a um it's like Edward Scissorhands, but less power of, supplies. Less of a terrorist. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's Well we've make just been demonetized now, haven't we? Because of that word. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Plug it in and sniff it. What what are we plugging in and what are we sniffing out of interest? Oh, this has got its own hub. I forgot about that. I mean So yeah, that's got three and then we need one more hub. Yeah. So if, we're good. We're if, good. If we're not allowed to say that word, then the BBC has got problems. Because... I mean, the BBC do have problems. <laughs> well, <laughs> poorly written Doctor Who episodes aside. <gasps> yeah, no, I agree with that. I would agree. Doctor, Who's, about Doctor Who's got a bit, yeah, politically correct. I'm By just the talking way, about all Doctor Who episodes. I don't think any of them are good. Oh, wow. You haven't lived. You haven't lived. Push or pull? They should be on the inside, definitely. Okay. Definitely on the inside. We, we want it like shining down, bouncing light off of that. Uh, that way. Yeah, bouncing light off the uh, doodle. Motherboard. The That's the word. Didgeridoo doodle. Yeah. So also, if you haven't put a like on this video, please do. Would really, really appreciate that. And you know what? I could get used to these live streams where I don't do anything. I don't know. Let us know in the comments. Is this a format that works? Brandon builds and I chat. I like building PCs. I can't stand it anymore. <laughs> so many. It's like here we go. In the words I'm, of uh, DJ Khaled, another one. My my creative mind just kind of mm. is happy with it because it's like it gives me an opportunity to kind of have an idea of where I'm going with it and then see that yep. into fruition. I'm like, there there we go. I've I've done a thing. I've made that. Good job, little buddy. Something to be proud of, you know. Yeah. yeah. And everyone, everyone who is building PCs out there, whenever you do it, yep. be proud of what you've done. Yeah. Because it's it's cool. Yeah. I can't be the only person who likes the smell of new electronics. Some. What's the stuff we had? We've had some stuff and it's like... There was a Corsair something. It was the foam. Do you remember? The foam was like... It smelled like shoe polish and white spirit. And it was like... like you opened up the box and it was like, oh, damn. Like, that was, yeah, pretty bad. I opened a new 3M DisplayPort cable the other day and the smell hit like a truck. Yeah. Uh, monkey and the Organ Grinder. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> so, right, let's get the overhead on so we can see what's going on. So, AIO going into the bracket. And then, yeah. I'm thinking about doing it this way, the more clampy thing. Oh, uh, okay. So the rad will technically be on the outside of the main chassis and then the fans sort of on yeah, the inside. Yeah, there's plenty of space for it on this case. So. Yeah, yeah. No, I like it. Yeah, live streams that ignore the chat for 90% of the time are poor. I'm, I'm hoping that you're saying we're not that. Well, I mean, no, you're. <laughs> we've kind of got this thing going on where you're going to read the chat, I'm going to comment whenever I've got a comment to make. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I like that. So, yeah, hopefully you're saying that's not us and uh, unlike other YouTubers out there who, yeah, just... Kind of, I don't know, with YouTube, I find that it should be about, you know, everyone says about, oh, the algorithm this and the algorithm that. Yeah. Something I learned quite a while ago, and it's probably why we're doing so well on YouTube now, and, you know, we are growing at a really good rate, is so many people are trying to make videos for the algorithm. So when they do live streams, they're trying to do it for the algorithm. Yeah. 
I'm doing videos and live streams for the people, for mm. the audience. So just replace the word algorithm with audience. Do you know what I mean? I'd like it, it makes sense to me. Yeah, I mean, a lot of streamers have got a problem where they're pre-recording their streams. Yeah, no, and I don't like that. There's some people that, you know... I, I understand, like, doing a premiere and things like that, which you could do on YouTube, but no, a live stream should be live. You know, there's pre-recorded. No. Yeah, there's some people where you and could... And we'll not have it. There's some people you'd have to say allegedly, because you don't know. But there's a lot of Twitch streaming going on. Wait, mm. oh, I don't know if that screw's going to reach. <laughs> is it not? Does now? Yeah, there you go. We don't well, need washers, it's already got the little rubber bit. I just put all the washers on, and I'm going to take all the washers off. Uh, yeah, what else we got? I love the smell of new power cycle components. Yeah, I mean, there is something about electronic smells. The good electronic smells, not like the... Burnt you know, electronics. Yeah, like, it's, it's the smell of flux and solder mm. and stuff, right? When you get that, it's like, mm. I don't know if any of you have ever smelt burnt electronics. It is nasty. <laughs> yeah, it's not nice. Had a um, USB blow up because it was like a cheaply made thing that was just covered in hot glue in a little casing. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was like gifted to my parents and it contained like their wedding video. Oh, okay. It was the only backup we had of it and I was like, I should probably back this up. Went to plug it in to back it up. Pop. Nice. Awful smell. Melting hot glue that burnt my fingers. Ugh. Awful, awful, awful. And then luckily, my brother managed to find he had backed it up but he only found that like three years later. <laughs> So Jacob said, uh, what was the thing we opened a few months back that smelt like it had just come out the backside of a dog? <laughs> I don't even know. No idea. I mean, maybe a case? Maybe. Uh, building PCs is very relaxing. Having chronic OCD makes it hard to find something that soothes it. PC building majorly helps soothe my mind. For me, I just, I, yeah, I don't know. I've built so many that I'm, I'm not bored of it, but if someone else can do it for me... <laughs> Then yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll allow it. I enjoy it up until the cable management. Yeah, no, at I which can't point stand that part. I just go, oh, no. Mm. And also, like, with everyone who works at eTechnics, I've always sort of said right. it's, uh, it's you know, a, a job that you learn on the job. Yeah. So, I mean, same with me, though. I don't know everything about computers. And when a new product comes out, I have briefing calls with NVIDIA, Intel, AMD, all that kind of stuff. Or we set, get sent reviewer guides for products. And we have to sort of learn about it and sort of quickly get to grips with it and then portray that same kind of key message of, you know, what they're trying to do and does it actually do it? Does it work? Is it worth it? That kind of stuff to you guys. And that kind of is learning on the job. I'm learning about a new technology. So when a new graphics card comes out, learning about Ada Lovelace or RDNA3 architecture and how Boost works in, you know, comparison to how it did before and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, there is like learning element to this. So I'm going to say right now, He's learning. I learned that I can't use the washers on this. Yep, exactly. So yeah, if you are going to build in the H9 and you want to do it like this where you're sandwiching the panel between the fans and the radio, don't use washers. But luckily these fans have little rubber washers on them. So you don't need them. And I had to learn how to edit videos. You did, yep. yeah. I went from zero to 100 on that quite quickly. And now, what, how long have I been editing the videos? A few months. Six months. Really? Wait, we'll be in February. Yeah. When did Dick leave? November? I don't know. November? Oh, December, January, February. All right, about, about four months. And I'd like to think like people wouldn't be able to tell that someone else was editing the videos five months ago compared to now. I mean, what I like to think is people went, oh, wow, the quality got better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else have we got? Uh, Steam issued a warning not to sniff the Steam Deck when it was on as people were loving the smell. <laughs> I do remember that, actually. Wow. It reminds me of that song by Afro Man, because I got high. Da, 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 da. It was like, people were like really enjoying smelling the the smell that the fan was exhausting. Oh, okay. So they, Valve put out a public statement mm, like, please, fan please don't stick it under your nose and be like, because you don't know what chemicals you're sniffing. It's just funny how, yeah, they have to put out a warning for that, so. Yeah, but I mean, Tide Pods had to put out a public warning, like, stop, please, mm. stop. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Issue with live work. streams is when you have an international audience and the time zones. Completely agree. That's why we actually purposely did this one a little bit later in the day because the live stream we did before was like two o'clock. Yeah, you know, if, if it was a normal day, we would have finished work half an hour before we started the stream. Yes. Yeah. So we normally do, I mean, Brandon does eight till four. I do six till four generally 
or six thirty till four. Yeah. Um, Realistically, I do a little bit later because yeah, trains yeah. are annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, you know, he's good at staying behind and things like that when when needed. Um, so I can't remember where I was going with this. Oh yeah, live streams. So this time we did a Patreon live stream first. Again, patreon.com forward slash etechnics if you want to support us. Uh, we did a Patreon live stream and then we jumped into this live stream um, sort of for 4.30 p.m. UK time so we could hit the UK people finishing work and also, you know, hitting the US audience and stuff as well. So, yeah. Um, what else have we got? Back up it comes. <laughs> I'm a roofer and I love the smell of bitumen, but I'm odd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. To be fair, I can I can see why. I'm the same with like tar. You know, like when you're driving through. No, you know, like you're in the car or whatever, and you can smell they're like redoing the road. I have to admit, I've like never tarmac. heard. I've never heard someone be like, I love tar. <laughs> like tarmac, like it, it smells good, but you know, freshly cut grass and stuff. I'm I'm all for. My favourite scent is probably freshly baked bread. Oh okay. Unless we're talking like you know like a Yankee candle or whatever. Yeah. Which, if you're curious, my favourite Yankee candle smell is black cherry. Which way does this go? Because it's got the little notches. It's correct. That way. That way? Yeah, it's great. Well, that way. You, you push it forward. Ah, oh, okay. So it's got like a little lug that you kind of, yeah, push. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, da, 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 da. The only thing nicer than new electronics and new car smells is diesel when you fill the car. Wouldn't know anymore. I haven't filled up a car with fuel Actually, I did a van. I did a van, I don't know, seven months ago, something I, like that. I was with you for that. Was you? Yeah. Why were you with me? Because you were giving me a lift home with a chair. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah. You were yeah. filling it up before taking it back to the rental place. <coughs> that was it, yeah. Yeah, so I rented a van, but other than that, you know, I'm fully electric, so. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? My daughter's PC BIOS battery caught fire, smelled like burnt fish. Whoa, that is. That's. That yeah. is one heck of a failure. Ooh. I uh, would. So speaking of learning, earlier I learned I bought my sis a Gen 4 NVMe when Mobo is only Gen 3, but it was only a few pounds different at the time, so no biggie would be bad at current prices. Yeah, I mean, it's backwards compatible, yeah. I'm missing SLI. I had it on the Z690 and now Z790 gone. Mr. Patreon 1, hopefully see it on catch up. Yep, so if you go on patreon.com, the, the actual post is there and then you can watch it. Um, because, yeah, it's unlisted on YouTube, so you wouldn't be able to, to see it. Have we got any tweezers around? When you say tweezers, whatever do you mean? I think you know exactly what I mean, sir. According to The Verge, tweezers. E-Technics branded ones, too. There you go. Thank Is that you. enough? Uh, for what I'm doing right now, oh, yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, what's it got? Still remember my brother burning his clutch. The eggy stench is baked into my nose. That is a horrible smell. Clutch. When you burn a clutch. Same with uh, if you ever burn your catalytic converter as well. Oh, horrible. I'm half Welsh, half Irish, so everything I say and do is odd. Ah, I can go one better. I'm Italian, Scottish, Irish, American, English. I've got. I'm only English because I was born here. <laughs> I've got I'm Italian. Everybody else. I've got Italian, Scottish, German, Danish, and English. Well, okay. Gesundheit. <laughs> and you can you can really tell of all of them. You can tell the it Italian the most because I love Italian food. Mm. I uh, see. I love Asian food, and my missus always says that she thinks I was Asian in a previous lifetime, like lifetime and stuff. Yeah. Like my favorite food is pizza. No, oh, okay. Uh, pizza, I can sort of. Yeah. I mean, bread, I love bread. Cheese, I love cheese. Yeah. And then I just put whatever else with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right, where are we at? So we just need to do thermal paste. Put the cooler on. Connect up these fans, which we can poke through the cables. Got that one. Is that a cable tie? Yes. Okay. Poke that one through. There's a lot of uh, pre-installed Velcro cable ties in this case. So NZXT are always very, very good at doing the whole like cable routing and stuff. They either have raceways or they have like the belt style um, sort of Velcro cable ties. I mean, they've got a bit of an OEM mindset, don't they? Mm. It's like they have designed this case to be easy to build in. Yeah, I, I think... NZXT are very, very good because they have BLD or build or whatever you want to call it. Their, their system integrated division. They make cases. That's not going to work. Is it not? No, that is too high. Oh, hey, that's uh, it flush to, to that. Come off. 
Does I'm pretty fit? sure that's too high. Does it fit flush with it? I'm guessing so. Oh, it looks like it does, doesn't it? I think Brandon made a boo-boo. Oh. We will leave it like that. <laughs> oh, wait, actually. Okay, it does no, go it works. On. I don't think it should, but it does. No, it works. I'll... That is okay. perfectly but on. I don't think they recommend it. I but don't... we have done it regardless. So. I don't think I care. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. I love there was a message that's been retracted, but I saw it before he retracted it. Have a guess what it could be. We're on a live stream. We're building a PC. What could the message be? Um, oh, it could be anything, though. It's, no, no. It's, come on. It said... I'll give you a clue. Can. Of beans. No. We were talking about beans earlier. Can I? Can I... Oh, come on. This is an easy one. I don't know. I've gone blank. Can has free PC. Oh. <laughs> Can has cheeseburger. Yeah. It's quite funny. We used to get that all the time on social media, mainly on Twitter, but it's definitely calmed down now. <laughs> we used to have a guy who would literally post every day and he's like, I'm going to keep posting until I get a free PC. I'm hoping he maybe actually got a free PC from someone and that's why he stopped. <laughs> or every channel has blocked him. Yeah, all that, yeah. Although I haven't blocked him and, you know, he's still doing it. So. Is um, he still doing it? No, no, no. I mean, I haven't blocked him and he's not doing it anymore. Oh. So, you know. He can't have got a free PC. <clears throat> don't know. Uh, skanky candle, Shady says. Maxi G, fresh made coffee, freshly cut grass, petrol smell, and rain hitting hot tarmac. New car smell. Sloth, for some controversy, hates the smell of cut grass. I love the smell of a new book. Mm, I don't do books. I haven't read a book in like forever. So. I don't read a lot of books. I just like to have them because they look nice on a shelf. Uh, okay. I like collecting things, you know? Mm. Have you got some thumb screws for me? Thumb screws? What for? So I can do the AIO. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, for the block. Oh, that's what you meant. Yeah. So thermal paste. Uh, this is NZXT NTH2. So it's actually a little bit more runny than NTH1. And just to trigger everyone, I'm going to do like a, a weird little design. You should do a PC building simulator two, and then just cover the entire thing in thermal paste. There we go. Nice little design, just to trigger everyone. It started off as a dot, and now it's like a, a spiral. What is it? I can't see. It's like a spiral. Oh my goodness. I just want to see the world burn. <laughs> it kind of looks like a face. Like the main blob it, it, is a bit nose-like. It, it, it was kind of what I was going for. It looks like one of them like faces that's like melted a little you bit. You just need to add two little eyes on it. Yeah. Don't, though. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, it's kind of like an at on the thermal paste. Yeah? Hang on. Yeah, I see that. Oh, damn it. <laughs> We've pulled a verge. <laughs> We've done a verge. It's pre applied <laughs> thermal paste. It's alright, we can, we can clean it off. What are we doing? <laughs> this stream is a disaster. It's because normally when we use parts, we would have used them before. Yeah, so but that this wouldn't is brand have had, new. Yeah. yeah. It wouldn't have had thermal paste on it, so. I am still go. pleased that that fits. <laughs> You're lucky that that fits. Ah, but think about it. With how close that is, mm. that is the perfect airflow through that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've dropped the wipe. <laughs> Come on, clean up my mess. <laughs> I use less bitumen than you use thermal paste. Uh, it's so funny. I can't believe we full on verged it. I mean, to be fair, they did it on purpose. Yeah. And didn't clean it off when they realised... I mean, you oh, say on purpose, it was by accident because they didn't know what they were doing. I mean, they purposed... Th was their intention not to do that? Hmm. That, I, I don't know. They purposefully did it. They the, said it. Wasn't it like... Yeah, everyone called it the bird crap method. So I still remember doing a reaction video to that. Like, I, like it was yesterday. I was having my garden done at the same time. That's how I managed to have a brick with me. I was like, power supply, brick, brick, power supply. Because he kept referring to it as a brick. Which, I get to a degree, with a laptop, you'd have a power brick. But a power supply for a computer, different thing. Right. What did... Oh, Let's get this on. That streamer that I really dislike. No offence if you like him, but I really <laughs> dislike him. XQC. Never heard of him. He's one of these guys who... Which way up are we doing this? I don't know. I think you can change it in software, so... So tubes at the bottom, and then we can have the cable go out the top and straight through there. Whichever looks nice, I think. Yeah, I think that looks right. But he's one of these streamers that he just reacts to stuff and then doesn't actually react to it. Oh, okay. Like, he doesn't react to it to the point where he put on someone's video 
and walked away for 10 minutes and just left it playing. Oh, I remember you yeah, saying about that, that yeah. Who that was that guy. other streamer you didn't like? The one who um, docked someone? Oh, that's not a streamer. That's oh, a that YouTuber. That's a sniper wolf. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I personally think this is what I, I've said uh, at home. I've said, I think if you are a reaction YouTuber or a reaction streamer, all of your monetization should be funneled to the original creator of the content you are watching. Yeah. Like, continue what you're doing, but you are not allowed to make money off of that, is what I think mm. it could be. Because reaction content is just not a valid way of making content. Mm. Especially how popular reaction content is. But I really reacted to me. The Verge. Are you saying that I shouldn't have got money for that? I'm I'm talking about XQC, oh, okay. who isn't reacting. Yep. Or Sniper Wolf, who isn't reacting. Mm. It's not like... The right kind of way of doing it is look at like a director's commentary, if that makes sense. Where you're mm. kind of like, oh, so this is going on, you know, talking about what's happening. If you've got insight, do it that way. You mm. shouldn't be allowed to just play someone else's video. Yep. Or someone else's song, or whatever. Yeah, I know what you mean. So many people get mad about it, though. It's like, oh, it's it, whatever. Oh, it's free to watch on the internet. It's like, yeah, it's free to watch, but it's not free to make. So support the people who make it. Oh, yeah, quick side note. I'm currently screwing up the AIO, and I'm going to tighten it fully. Do you know why I'm going to tighten it fully? Is it because it's Intel? It is Intel. If this was another brand... I wouldn't be allowed to do it. You wouldn't be allowed to do it, no. Because the amount of times Brandon has built an AMD system, and he's tightened the thumb screws, and you're going to turn the whole thing on, and it doesn't turn on. So you have to loosen it a quarter of a turn, and suddenly, miraculously, it works. Because apparently AMD don't know what tolerance means. Like, in my defense, it's a very oh, irritating okay. problem to have. Mm. <laughs> you can't even see me, just at the top of my head. <laughs> hey, Wilson. You wouldn't even get that joke. Wilson. Yeah. It's from a program called Home Improvement, where the neighbor, all you could see was Oh, like that. I do know Home Improvement. Uh, Tim Allen. Yeah. Yeah, great thing. Oh, I don't know. Uh, okay. Someone said tubes at the top. Yeah, the problem is, though, there's a cable that has to go into the block, and oh, it just it wouldn't We should look, get that in now, Wouldn't look great. Yeah, if you poke it through. So, yeah, it wouldn't look great, but... Uh, what's Ooh, it called? I is... use MX4 because to be honest, I don't find much difference in any of them, but MX4 is cheap. Uh, yeah, NTH2 is cheap because they give it to us for free. <laughs> <laughs> so there is that. Same with their wipes. They're very cheap when you don't pay for them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, reaction primarily focused content feels cheap. Most barely react to it or just repeat what happened. Uh, is do not laugh challenge videos reaction content? Yes, uh, it is. Yeah, it is. And it yeah, is. I don't like them either. No. Uh, Javord HF, hello, how are we doing? Nice to see you, thanks for joining the stream. If I put this through, do you want to? Yes. Which way does it go? Because it uh, only goes in one way. That way. Oh, look at me. There we go, it's in. I'm a genius. Uh, well, uh, come on, give, give me this. Hold up, you're a genius. Did it or did it not fit? It's so sticking up. It's just the fact that it's pushing on that. What I've done is I've given it a new air filter. Oh dear. My genius is at new levels. Please do a BTF build one day. As in BTF? What, Back to the Future? BTF. No, oh, that would be BTTF, wouldn't it? Big, yeah. terrifying... Don't. Ferrets. <laughs> What's BTF? I, I, I'm not down with the cool kids. I know what BTS is, but I just I don't, I don't listen to them. Oh, is that like K-pop? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what BTF is. I don't know. I'm not down with the cool kids, so you're going to have to let me know. I'm nearly 37, for crying out loud. Uh, most reaction videos might as well be, let's watch this video together, but I'm going to get paid to do it, and you won't. The new yeah. Zeus BTF. Oh, the, yeah, with the cables around the back. So, little side note. Uh, I think we've, I think we're doing a review on a Thermaltake Series 300 case with that. I also think I might be working with MSI with their one, Project Zero. So, watch this space. I guess, you know, I might do some video stuff with that. Freaking love home improvement. Yeah, I always yeah, grunt so. like Tim and the kids have no clue what I'm doing. Right, where are we at? I'm going to the other side right now because I can't get my hands in to put these cables for this end fan in the right spot. Oh, okay. So, yeah, this build is, is going well. Well, Project Zero, nice, thanks. Yeah. You are getting old, mate, to be fair. I know, I know. 
I think we have had the discussion before, though. Um, oh, about me being old. <laughs> no, about the zero cable stuff. I think oh, okay. it was on a Q&A or a... I think it was a Q&A. Oh, yeah, that's another thing that Patreons get. Q&A. We do a uh, monthly Q&A stuff. Um, no, we do the monthly... Kind of, that's part of the live stream. But, yeah, we do do Q&A stuff as well, don't we? Which a lot of Patreons do actually you know, chime in with their questions and stuff. The only problem is that it gets so busy, it's hard to find the time. Yeah, yeah. So that's why a lot of the benefits... You can find on the Discord. Join us on Discord. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we spoke about it before where it's all well and good to have a very clean looking system, but you're going to miss a lot of customization in cables. Mm. Like getting custom cables done yeah, yeah. and all that kind of thing. I kind of feel that that trend's died a little bit. Like, it was really popular about a year or so ago with, like, getting custom cables and, you know, the custom combs and stuff. I definitely think that's died down a little bit now. Yeah. Now that power supply manufacturers are offering up better quality cables. If it things. was like a fabric-y kind of braided cable, I would prefer that to no cable. Yeah. Visually. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, yeah. This is very awkward to do. So yeah, we are getting there. Um, while you're doing that, I'll talk about the graphics card. Dun 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 dun. Da, da, da. See, I thought the non-super one was the nicest looking card on the market, and now the non-super doesn't look as nice. No, I mean, for perspective... For perspective, this is an RTX 4090, which, you know, really, really looks nice. But in comparison, like with the silver and everything, in comparison to the 4080 Super, which is all black, this looks cheap. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It looks cheap. Performs like a beast, though. I mean, if I go overhead, people, people could probably see it a little bit better. Slide this out the way a little bit. So, yeah, this is the 4090. It's, like, very bright in colour. You know, it, it looks not... When it came out, I was like, do you know what? This is an amazing-looking card. Depending on what system you put it in, it could still look really good. Mm. But then this, all black with that, like, shimmering... RTX 4080 Super logo, and then the black. It's like a gunmetal, sort of almost blacky colour. Yeah, it just looks a million times better. The way that the gloss on that like cross pattern thing catches the light of RGB memory looks so nice. Is that deeper? No, they're exactly the same. So that like swoops. It looks oh, like that no. one swoops more. From here, they look pretty, pretty much identical. Yeah, but yeah, they are some big old beefy graphics cards but uh, yeah i stand by it this is probably the best looking graphics card i've ever seen i actually think that that swoop is my least favorite thing about it oh, okay if you don't know what we're talking about see if i can get it on camera here there's a bit of a if i do it that way there. yeah you can kind of see there's a bit of a swoop along here yeah it's like curves the and curves here the 4070 is flat here mm. i think that's a nicer look yeah it depends what you're into i guess yeah, I just think if, if it's flat, it kind of gives more of like a sleek kind of like mm. fits into its place, yep. doesn't outstay its welcome kind of vibe to it. Yeah. yeah. What was that? That was a screw for the yeah. fans that you took off earlier. Yeah, we're just pushing them to one side. Uh, what else we got? Come Discord on. is great, lots of messing about, plenty of serious stuff. The best stuff is available when you become a Patreon though. Completely agree. Like the bi-weekly game nights that we do, where we play Code Names, Cards Against Humanity, CS2, all that kind of stuff. How many USBs do you have? Concave, that's the word. Two. Concave? Convex. Yeah. I believe... We're done? We can't swap out this last fan at the back for RGB. Mm. Because I believe NZXT has currently got a slight problem in that you can't use more than two of their hubs. Yep. And we've got enough RGB fans to take up the entirety of two hours. Yeah, I mean, that's exhausting out anyway. That's in taking in. Yeah, are we going to leave it? Yeah, we'll leave it there. We just, yeah, won't have RGB. Yeah, if we really wanted to, we could put three at the bottom, but I don't want to. Because we've got the non-RGB ones that we took out. Yep. That's a good hint if you're, like, looking to do a first build or something. Try to reuse as much of the included fans as you can <laughs> because look comes second to performance mm. so right 
You do cables, I'll do graphics card. Uh, this is going to be unfun. I wouldn't bother with any of these, just do the front panel. I mean, so when you go to put your graphics card in, best thing to do, line it up with where it is and realize what slots you actually need to take out. So it's not always the top one. Generally, it's the second one down. And because this is a thick boy, we're going to be taking the second one out. It is pretty much always the pretty much always second one. Unless you're using like MATX, then sometimes it's not. Do we have a fan splitter or anything? Or are we going to have to plug in seven fans to the motherboard? It won't have seven headers, I don't think. Okay, so... So second, third, and fourth slots. So what do we do about that? We're going to have to use a fan splitter, which are over in them little containers over there. The ones with the orange on, on the bottom of the shelf. What? The ones with the orange? Oh. Yeah, yeah there. there's loads of uh, Notua fan splitters. In one of them? In one of them. It's the lightest one, conveniently. Okay, uh, that doesn't mean I... I'm not going to have to go through the heavy ones. Why do you think that a lot of people are scared to build PCs? I really don't know, because when I went to show you that 4090, which is now sitting on top of a box there, I had to put this card, which is a 7900 XTX, on the carpeted floor, as well as this card, which is an RTX 3080, on the carpeted floor as well. So yeah, I don't really understand why people get scared. I know exactly why people get scared. Because they watched a bird video. No, it's because <laughs> they don't want to spend a load of money on something that they have to put together themselves and potentially break. Yeah. See, I built my first computer when I was 12, I think I was. So it was a long, long time ago. Jesus, that was 25 years ago. So, uh, am I in the right box? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's not a single black fan splitter. No, I don't think the black ones are there, but just used another colour. Uh, white is probably... Yeah. Yeah, just whatever. Yeah. Let's get this built, get it booted up, show some game performance, and then I can go home and have a beer. How many fan headers do we actually have? So fan headers on this one, we have one, two, three. That's the AI, AI yeah, that's pump one. one. Four, five, six. We have six. Oh, really? Yep. So we need one splitter. <laughs> so that was nice and easy. Nice and easy. And to be fair, because it has got black on there, we could probably hide it. Hide it down there. Am I in the way? I am. Sorry. You are in the way. We could hide it down there and you'd never see that it was a white cable. Unless you looked. <laughs> so yeah. Um, yeah, get the front panel on, then we can get the, uh, the graphics card on and everything as well. So here's this one. Here's one I found earlier. Uh, what else we've got going on? Well, she, thank you very much for the super chat. Really appreciated. And as always, thank you for your patronage. Uh, why is the top one always so high when it's not necessary? No, it's just the, the form factor of ATX form factor, I guess, and yeah, how things are. Uh, what else have we got? Oh my God, I'd give anything for that GPU. I'm only afraid I'll maybe short something or put too much pressure on something when installing. You can't really. I mean, motherboard screw down to a certain point, CPU will have a tolerance, and yeah, you, yeah. I think PC building is probably easier now than it's ever been. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Giveaway before the beer. Yes, the giveaway will be before the beer. The giveaway will be once we get this booted up and everything and uh, show you some games and stuff, and then we will do the giveaway. I mean, it'll be before <laughs> that beer. Mm. Not the one, oh yeah. Uh, what else we got? If you buy a pre-built, you're always scared to take it apart to clean it. Yeah, I guess there's that argument as well. So you're kind of doomed either way of whatever you do. Uh, game over, apparently. Lots of spamming of game over. Game over, game over, game yeah. over. Right, let's get this built. Yeah. Let's get can't, this finished. I can't really get to the bottom screws for the front panel yet. I can okay. do the top ones if we take the top panel off. With my convenient pre-thought of plan of putting this here with just enough spacing. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, it was, it was so like done on purpose, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought so. I I played it up for drama, you see. Mm. I don't want people to. Oh, I wanted everyone to go. Oh no! Is it? Oh, they're gonna have to take it apart. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, no, so you just you you're just trying to create drama. Yes. yes, yes. <laughs> I think compatibility scares people, as in mobile and CPU and size part and case. I mean. I, I get that, but also you've got websites like PC Part Picker, which kind of deals with all that on your behalf. Yeah, that's that's a really easy way of doing it. I'd love to have something like that on the eTechnics website, but it's so much data, it's just unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, so it's, more fans. The thing is, people are going to go to PC Part Picker anyway, so why try to compete with it? Don't know. Reasons. Right. Let's get these cables done, we can get the GPU in, and then we can actually get things booted up. Booted up. <coughs> booted up. Yep. If we good morning everyone, happy wake and bake. Never heard that one before. But yeah, good morning. How are we doing? I'm guessing morning you're gonna be I don't know. Anywhere could be. California's eight hours behind I think at the moment. So it could be California. Don't forget the Verge static band. Oh, you mean the uh the Livestrong base bracelet. Yeah, I remember that. If only the UK had Micro Center. To be fair, we had like similar, I guess, you had Maplin back in the day. But yeah. May it rest in peace. May it rest in peace. I think they're back though, again. Are they? But online only, I think. Oh yeah, I, I think I went on their online website and I tried to look for a PC thing and they had like nothing. Mm. Yeah. How has your day been both? Mine's been tiring. I had to drive an hour away to go to a shopping center um, to go and have lunch with in O3D. So it was, it was nice, you know, going there and having lunch and that, but the hour there, the hour back, it's just completely drained me. And then we did a Patreon live stream and then this live stream. So yeah, a little bit tired. Need to get a good night's sleep tonight. But yeah, other than that, all good. Maplin was good for heart. Do you know what Maplin's was good for? Maplin's was good when you needed that screw, just one. You didn't want to buy a hundred. You just go in and be like, I need one of these. And they'd be like, all right, that's 5p or 10p or whatever. You didn't have to buy 100 for like a couple of quid. I always found it was good for, oh, I don't have this cable or this adapter that I need. Pop yep. the Maplin. Yeah. Where is this other thing on? The other hub? Uh, I had it, but it seems to have gone. I don't know. Oh, there it is. I magneted it to... <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Maplin's was very, very good for that. And there's nowhere really, I mean... Yeah, there's nowhere really where you can't go, where you can go and buy like a single screw or a single cable like that. Like you can't even go and buy like a hard drive mm. at PC World. That one is that one. My method for doing fans is I try to figure out which cable is for what, so I can kind of choose where they're plugged in based on positioning instead of just get them and put them somewhere. I think we should just get them and put them somewhere because this stream has now been going for two hours and two minutes. I mean, hey, people got a lot of content to enjoy. Uh, did we really need a fans? Oh, no, that's for the top three. So we didn't need a fans better. No, we didn't then. Well, that's convenient. Oh, is that just connected straight to the... Oh, I yeah. see. NZXT. Yeah, with the clutch. So NZXT on their 360mm AO, they actually have like a triple female um, fan splitter cable. So you plug all three of the fans into that and then it goes through the block and yeah. I like it. Tandy was what by rate. Oh, I remember Tandy. They were great for like CB stuff and things like that. Maplins for electronics like capacitor diodes and such. Yeah, no, I agree with that as well. They were really, really good for that. Where is the... You needed like a resistor and sort of all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So I'm just checking through Discord, seeing if uh, we've got any new new members on there. Yeah. And all the RGB... <coughs> the <coughs> is there um... an external hard drive shortage? My friend had trouble getting one for a couple of days ago. Shouldn't be, not that I've seen. Uh, I don't think anything's really happening with hard drives. And especially external hard drives, they are just internal hard drives just in a caddy. So. <clears throat> Unless you go for more of a bespoke kind of option. Yeah. Right, have we got anything that we need to put in here or can I put the GPU in there? Um, 
I don't think we've got anything that needs to go in there. No, have you got enough fan headers at the top then? Um, so we only need to fit, it was seven, now we only need to fit four. Yes. You've got this one down here that can do two. Yeah. I'm just trying to find all the cables. So there's the two for that, and then we've got space at the top for one, two, three. Well, we do have the, so I can put the GPU in. front panel. I've already done that. Oh, have you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, look at look at you. I'm way ahead of you. So, GPU going in. It's my favourite bit. Like a glove. That's when it really comes together. Screwdriver? Yeah, once you put the G like, GPU is generally the last thing, so. Uh, Discord link. Jacob, can you uh, chuck over the Discord link? <laughs> Be a dear. Be a dear. Right, let's get this screwed in. There we go. Plug that in. Plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. Okay, so now I've got two plugged in, so I only need to plug in two. Which is... The that adapter one. that comes with the founders, is it a two or a... It's a two, isn't it? Let's see a proper NVIDIA one, isn't it? They all look exactly oh, like okay. that. I don't know what one comes in the founders. The box is just here and it's really easy to get out, so I'll just check quickly. Hmm. Three. Ah, okay. I mean, two would sort of do it. It would, but, you know, we'll go with what NVIDIA say. Sentence I never thought I'd say. But go with what NVIDIA say. So we've got the adapter because obviously this has got a 12 VH PWR and the power supply we're using isn't um, doesn't come with a native cable. So we need to there you go, look, daisy chain, as someone was asking earlier. We need to get um USB splitter plugged in. And mm. the USBs. Mm. I get that one and that one plugged into the splitter. So we'll pop that into there. And then you need one more screwdriver to get the work faster. Do you know what I've got? There's one and there's another. But yeah, I've got like thousands of eTechnics toolkits. I had to buy like, I don't know, 5,000 of them or 10,000 of them or something. So yeah, they are available over on store.etechnics.com and we ship worldwide. So yeah, uh, this is the toolkit by the way. Comes in this really cool like soft but clamshell case. Comes with everything you need to build, repair and maintain your PC. I've passed a USB through. Good for you. I can't see a dang thing. Uh, why have you passed it through there? What do you mean? If you passed it through. Oh, there's one there. there. I can't yeah, see yeah. it from this angle at all. Yeah. Okay, so that's USB. And that's also USB. That's all the USB we need. Oh, okay. That one in there. Can There's you pass that one through the next hole instead, please? This one here. Yeah. Yep. Aha. Okay, so I've got one fan. I just need to find the missing fan go. head. Ow. Or Ow. Look at that. Did it bite you? Ooh. Yeah, it's like ripped up my skin. I'm now bleeding. Which goes back to my wonderful little saying of you're not building a PC, right? Unless you build unless you bleed. That's all RGB. Where is the last fan connector? It's it's hiding from me. That's all RGB. I've got one. Yeah, I'm gonna pull these through. Where is it hiding? RGB, 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 RGB. I've got a handful of RGB. That's SATA. SATA. Where is it? That's RGB, that's RGB. Yeah. I'm following it down. This one, is it? Oh, it is that one. It was hiding behind this Yeah, thing. yeah, because it's pre-installed. Yeah, it was hiding from me. Mm. All my screwdrivers are in one bag, which if I'm not careful when I grab the bit, they stab me. That's why you need a handy dandy E-Technic screwdriver. And Sloth, because you are a patron, you do get a 10% discount as well. Need this PC, but no money. 
I mean, we're not selling it anyway, so yeah. But uh, we are giving away the case, so if you are in Europe, we will be giving this case away at the end of the stream. Where is the other header? It's basically next to the... Header, up here. I've got one fan there's, thing. There's there. three fan headers up here. Oh, is there? Okay, yeah. well, I'll just pass the two that need plugging in through then. And then I'll just plug in all of the fans. I'm blocking my view with that second one. Whoa. What's that one? I'll just get all of the RGB plugged into random connections and not particularly care because we're just going to make all of it the same thing anyway. Yep. Da, 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 da. So yeah, we're, we're basically there. Just got to plug in some RGB cables and then uh, hide off this. we go. And yeah, hide the hubs. We're not going to show you this side because you don't want to see it. It does look like Frankenstein's monster. But that's what you get when you do anything with RGB. Unless you're using any of these fans that kind of you know snap together. You're always going to end up with mass amounts of cables. It looks more like the PC equivalent of when I cook. Mm. So is everything plugged in now? Yes. Cool. Let's give it a go. Did all the fans spin yeah. up first time? Yeah. Wait, that's an improvement from last stream. Yeah. Hey, hey. See, we're talking about learning earlier as well. I have learned how to plug fans in. Yeah. So I am can't really see it, but there is a panel back here that is like designed for your two and a half inch SSDs drives and stuff. stuff. Yeah. But it's magnetic and kind of hides some of the cables. So it... It does have a screw. It does. It has two screws. But yeah. the fact that it's magnetic means uh, it just okay. locks in yeah, place. Yeah, it kind which, of like swings out like a door. Yeah, you're not fighting with the cables as long yeah. as they're not you know, too... Yeah, yeah. I'll screw them in quickly. Cool. There you go. Thank you. Then we'll get the side panels on and then we can boot up a game and yeah. Yeah, it does look nice. Um, obviously, I would personally change the RGB to something more RGB. But, but yeah, obviously, with the cooler, we have got the full screen on there, which you can put your own GIFs on and things like that. Got the nice little white on the uh, GeForce RTX logo. Got some RGB from the memory. Things are looking pretty good overall, I'd say. So we actually use this case, not this one. We've got another H9 Flow. We actually use that as our main GPU test bench. So let's get the side panels back on. I've got one here. So yeah, I might as well show them actually the other side because you have got that panel so it does hide everything. So even though there is a cluster of cables over here, it's kind of hidden by this panel. So everything looks pretty clean and tidy. I didn't realize my uh, American friend was watching and I checked because I got a load of notifications. I was like, hopefully nothing's important. <laughs> And I check and I see one that says, oh no, he's complaining about PAL worlds. <laughs> right, let's get this one on. Yeah, there's a bit of uh, foam in there from the box. Uh, I assume we're not going to put the front one on because glare? Yeah, yeah, we won't. No, don't do that. I haven't put it on properly yet. Oh, I thought you had. No. So, do you want to get the monitor? I'm already on. So side panel on, obviously if we did have more of the fans we could have put a layer in sort of down below. If you did have a GPU with an AIO you could actually put that in the bottom and then cool down your GPU. But yeah, even as stock we haven't done any configuration or anything of the fans, it's very very quiet. Like there's quite a lot of air being pumped out but it is very very quiet overall. Ooh, actually this is the first time I've seen it from this side, it's really like clean looking. Yeah. It's just the matte black. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You've got the matte black of this, the matte black of the motherboard. The matte black of the RAM. Kind of, the light is just shining on like different parts yeah, of I it. Said, I said that glossy bit catches RGB on there yeah, yeah. really nicely. Yeah. All right, and now to cover the entire... <laughs> <laughs> the... the biggest monitor in history. The Colossus. That's not what it's called, but it should have been what mm. it's called. So, yeah. Look at that. That is a beast. So this is the MSI MP something or other. MPG series uh, gaming certified. <laughs> it doesn't say what the model is. I think it's the MPG 321QDUR. I mean, it ha it says product name, but then doesn't have the product name on it. Okay. And there's just a load of like other languages that I can't read. Sounds about right. All right, let's get everything plugged in. Hard to see. Yeah, basically there. 
Other way around. Yeah, yeah. Right, trying to keep up with the chat as well. I like the screen on the cooler. Yeah, the screen looks really, really nice. So like I say, um, you can put different things on there. So you could have your liquid temperature, CPU temperature, GPU. You can change the colors of it. You can also um, put GIFs and stuff on it as well. It's a really, really clear quality screen. So yeah, you don't have to have the word NZXT on there if you don't want and all that sort of stuff, but yeah. You're good there. I think that's that way. I was right. Right, we need keyboard and mouse. So have we got an NZXT one to hand of each? Um, I mean, there's the one we're using for thing, and there is. Oh, there's no cable on this one. If you give me a sec, I can grab one from the other room. Yeah, yeah, do that, and then we'll get into the BIOS and get that sorted. So, 14900K tends to run hot. I'm watching that temp monitor. <laughs> So he's just going to go and get a keyboard and a mouse and then we can get it booted up and have a look at the performance. But yeah, I'm expecting good things. 14900K, RTX 4080 Super, what's not to love? Updated your drivers recently. We only installed Windows on it today. It hasn't, hasn't actually got any drivers on there as of yet. So we will be doing that. Uh, I do know it, but I can't think what, what it is. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Good job that wasn't on Yeah. Camera. I can't think what that is. I'm sure someone on stream will know. I had to go for the black. Yeah, makes sense. Yes. All right, chuck that around there, and I will shimmy on around. Hello, everybody. I do not come with the case, in case you were wondering. <laughs> Let's move this round a smidge. I'll try and stay out of the shot as much as I can. Ooh. Oh, it's really warm in here, and that's really nice. <laughs> What's the temperature? That's 21.9. It has cooled down. I mean, that's just I vote that we do no live streams in the summer. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, if they just installed some air conditioning in the building, it wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, that would be nice. But that's not going to happen. Careful of the camera. Yep. All good. Is this on? It's probably doing that thing. The thing, yes. Yeah, so this monitor has a really bad habit of having like a handshake issue where you have to unplug display port and then plug it back in again for it to like show anything. And it's really, really frustrating. And yet we carry on using it. Oh. No signal. Do it again. Different port. Are you going to give away this? We're going to give away the case. Yes. No signal. Why? I don't know. What have you done wrong? Why is it what I done wrong? <laughs> This doesn't have a debug thing, is it? I don't know if it's under here. Nope. Okay. Well, that's off now. Because <laughs> I can't get it back on. So yeah, for some reason, we are not getting the display. Plug it into the little monitor. See what comes up. Uh, there's no space, so I'm going to plug it in and... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Tell you. We're going to do a little bit of a pod... Like here. <laughs> Whoa! I didn't I'm mean to steal the map. Turn this around so I can see what's going on on chat. Can I get a free human? Ah, oh, we haven't got any to give away. We've given away the last one, I'm afraid. But yeah, the case is the the item that we that we're actually going to give away. We're not giving away the whole system, just the case. I know we suck, right? <laughs> Nothing down here. No. No. What if Ooh. I plug into the motherboard? Uh, have you got the TV remote? No. Oh, okay. Because that's going to turn off. Here it is. You guys aren't even trying. I know. I know. 
This, like, never happens? No, nothing. Hmm, very strange. So yeah, for some reason it's not turning on. Even though earlier it was absolutely fine because yeah. we updated the BIOS on it. It was working when we did it on the Patreon stream, and we didn't even have the cooler attached properly. Jacob said that's two for two on stream builds not working. Did the last one not work? Oh, we got it working. It was just... What was wrong with it? Um, I mean, there was the fan issue, and then we just took a really long time because the BIOS was like, I want to update, and it took a really long time. So we were like, let's do it all prepared, let's get it updated, all ready to go. Mm. And then it just decides not to work anyway. But we said then, and we'll say now, this is what you don't see in a PC build video. Yeah. And I don't know why this isn't booting up. That's in, that's in, everything's spinning up like it should be. So in theory, this should be working. So we go to the drawing board of getting a speaker. Ooh. Oh, I'm not sure I remember where they are now. Phone the Verge. <laughs> Isn't that horrible cable for the GP? It's not that bad. Come on. Someone not liking the cable. Yeah. Right. So now, when you need to troubleshoot, that's where a speaker comes in handy. You just need to figure out where it goes. That's a fan. That's an RGB. That's a HD audio. It is. It's not that bad. I mean, the adapter is chunky and not great, but if you've not got an adapter, you've got one of the direct cables, it's so much cleaner. I need a torch. A torch? I have a phone. That'll do. Phones are not available on etechnics.com. Uh, mm, yeah. It's going to get really loud in a second. I think it's this one. Right, let's reset it. Oh, it has got a little debug down here. Oh, I see. Yeah, so we're it's got like the little LED, it's not an actual debug see, like number thing. We're on VGA right now. It is easier to read with the torch on it, actually. Yeah. So, yeah, this is the sort of thing that you don't see when we do normal videos. Still on VGA? Yeah. Receipt? That's not on VGA. Oh, yes. I think yeah. a receipt is in order. Okay. So we'll reseat the GPU and see what it do. Have you tried ringing support? Yeah, there wasn't much help. We tried ringing the, oh, who is it? Tech Guys. Is it Tech Guys? Tech PC, guys. PC World and what's their little tech thing called? Oh, uh, Know How? Oh, is it? Yeah, Know How. I think America has, like, Best Buy. I think it's the Tech Guys or something. They've got, um... Oh, what's it called? Tech the Squad. Tech Squad, that's it. And then yeah. Apple is the genius bar. Yep. I don't have any Apple products so and don't Apple. plan to. But from my understanding, the Apple genius bar is anything but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they've been all right when I've gone there. Right, so it was getting stuck on GPU. So we're just going to take that out. I'm so used to it not having a latch. I went to just pull it out. That was the thing. All motherboard companies put the button on it that is yeah. the VGA release button. All motherboard companies do that. Right, let's see if that works. There we go. <laughs> it's like it had to take a sec. So let's see what it does this time. Geek Squad, that's the one. Ooh. This time it's got DRAM, it didn't have that before. Okay. Now there's no lady 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 Have you got anything on the other monitor? Is that still plugged in? No. Oh, okay. And there's no monitor plugged in, that's not gonna help, is it? <sighs> yeah, Geek Squad at Best Buy, that's it. I just saw NZXT show up on the monitor. Did you? I wasn't looking. I 
unplug it and plug it back in. <coughs> ah, I love doing live streams. They're, they're so much fun. <sighs> Nothing ever can go right first mm. time. La, 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 it's like, it doesn't la, help la, 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 that this monitor has like a handshake issue. No, DP, no signal. Is the other monitor plugged in as well? I just plugged it in. Okay, let me reset. So we have one light, we have a different light, we have two lights at the same time. No lights. Yeah, so this is a this is a fun. We've actually got a secondary monitor on the floor, so we have got two monitors plugged in. It's a really high quality monitor. Yeah, it's like a tiny little thirteen inch thing. So yeah, this uh, this isn't going exactly according to plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Glad AMD haven't gone with that stupid gift. You have a vendetta, will she? So I am gonna uh, just for my own curiosity. If that's it, I'm going to loosen the AIO ever so slightly and turn it back on. People are just calling you elderly now. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why. <laughs> Could it be the grey hair? Two lights again. Enter XT. There we go. Well. It's not just AMD. We were we were talking it up. Yeah. So yeah, that's all it took. Loosen off the uh, thumb screws ever so slightly. I'm sure you don't want your email out to everyone. Oh yeah, I would prefer not. Sim code. Yeah. Uh, chuck me the code. Do, 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 do. Well, that's not the right. Seven zero five one six. No, 176. 705176. Then cancel, yeah? Yeah. Cool. We're in. We're in. <sighs> so, yeah. All good fun. Right, we need drivers. We do. I hadn't considered that. No, like that can't sign into OneDrive. It's like close or fix this. It's like always close. See if I can get this in. Ah, NVIDIA drivers. Don't want to get in your way too much, though. Have you noticed it's picked up Wi-Fi, unless you've plugged in the Ethernet cable? I did connect it to Wi-Fi earlier. Oh, uh, okay. Right, so let's get some drivers. Weird that it didn't like it earlier, then. Yeah. Very strange. Does anyone know that tune? Because he's currently got it in his head. I want to say it's from a movie. Probably a kid's movie. I don't... Yeah, I can't think. I don't know if it has that... I don't know if it has that... Oh, it does. I know the song. That's the annoying thing. Something 47. Hello, how are we doing? So, uh, out of interest, put it into the chat. What games do you want to see the performance of this amazing, wonderful-looking PC on? I feel like we should light it up a little bit more as well. So we'll grab NZXT cam and we'll get that. Doing some other colours. I'm kind of. This is my personal vote. I'm kind of feeling. Mask, isn't it? I think it might be, yeah. The mask. Is it? Maybe. If so, I haven't seen that year, that movie in years, so I don't know why that would be in my head. Great movie. We've got Cyberpunk. We don't even actually have. I've got Crisis remastered on my account, but we'd have to download it. Yeah. Cyberpunk. There's three Cyberpunks. We got Tomb Raider. No one said Ratchet and Clank. Come on, guys. Ratchet and Clank's a really good looking game. It's not that good looking. Like, I think it's so really good looking. There's better looking games. Yeah, but like, it's a really good looking game. Yeah. Cyberpunk, of course. Didn't we do Cyberpunk last time? We well? did, which yeah. is. I was kind of thinking maybe. It's the go-to and it's the obvious one, but at the yeah. same time, it's like, do we, we want can, to... We can put path tracing on and everything, so... Yeah. We did last time. Yeah. True that. Uh, we don't need experience. I mean, just... Portal RTX is what we need. Yeah. Armor 3. Don't have Armor 3. 
I might have it, but I've never played it. We haven't got it downloaded, I mean. How about Doom? Eternal? That's got ray tracing. Yeah. Not that you'd notice. <laughs> this is the perfect monitor for that, though. 4K high refresh rate. Yeah. With yeah, ray tracing. So this monitor is actually a 4K 144 hertz. Um, One millisecond response time, HDR10 plus, yeah. I want to say. Yeah, I think so. It's like, it is a beast of yeah. a monitor. That it is. We've got another another vote for Doom. Power World. Not Doom, Power World. Never played Portal. Well, okay, so you don't like the cable, and you've never played Portal. So uh, It's currently updating the Kraken, as you can see from this wonderful little logo. So it does that automatically when you load up NZXT Cam. And then, uh, yeah, we can change all the, the lighting. I'm going to give you homework. If you, if, well, she, if you come to the eTechnics meetup, your homework is you have to have played Portal before then, because I think anyone who has a PC has to play Portal. Mm. It's, uh, what color scheme should we go with, by the way? Uh, oh, yeah, the LCD display. I did say about this. So you can see that we've got some other colors and stuff in there now. Um, we can have CPU temperature. Um, you can do like different gradients and things like that. So you can see it will change real time. Uh, I can't let that one to be fair. Uh, so we'll go with that, turn the brightness up. Uh, RGB controller, let's do spectrum wave. Yep, so that, that one's now going. Let's do the same for that one. And the same for that one. Did we decide on the exact date on the meetup yet? No, I'm going to put out another poll. Yeah, because, well, she, there is the chance that it might not be that initial date that was mentioned. So keep an eye on that, because you still might have the opportunity to come down, even yep. though you had that made those plans. Because it might not align with that now. Yeah. So, yeah, I've managed to change all the RGB in here. Um, I think you agree. That looks amazing. It looks really good. Yeah. Um, what I might do as well, actually, guys... Ooh. Is turn that light off so you can see it a little bit better. And then the drivers are now on here. I think August was when the other thing, it, it might be then, it might be the other one. Yeah. Yeah, so hopefully hopefully it, we can make it work. And it would be nice to see you there having played Portal, play Portal. I played it the other day, actually. Oh, okay. I just went through Portal RT RTX all the way through, just in one sitting, just because I wanted to. Nice. Love that game. Um, I'm a professional 3D artist. I am using. If you're doing any professional work, he's asking Intel or Ryzen. Ooh. Intel is probably your go-to for any professional work. It depends, really, because you still got like the 7950X and stuff like that. But yeah, it's it's a tricky one. I'd look at the applications that you're using, and then. I mean, he does actually say. Uh, 3DS, 3DS Max, Max V-Ray, Corona. Corona, and Photoshop. I'm guessing that is. Um, so I would look at their applications and see what they can use for acceleration. Because um, you might find that you know they can use Intel, um, some of the instructions that Intel does and things like that. So right, we're at 4K. Did you make the keyboard purple? 144 hertz. I did not. Well, it's purple now. Yeah. So 144 hertz. There we go. So we do in Cyberpunk. Yeah. Why not? Why not? So yeah, let's get Cyberpunk booted up. Show you what the performance is like, and then we can uh, yeah do the giveaway, I guess. Why not? Solitaire. We should have done Solitaire. <laughs> so, Got to go speak soon. All right. That's well, she. Oh, okay. Do you want to move the monitor? Move so the monitor. Oh, okay. Yeah, just so we can... Oh. Thanks for coming, Welshy. Cheers, Welshy. Take care. It's a little bit too far to the back now. I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> da, 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 da. Ooh. There we go. Oh, that is nice. Look, nice, nice. Yeah. Is that max brightness? On the monitor. I can't actually see the thing at all, so you're gonna have to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Up that a bit. Might as well bump up the contrast a little bit. Cool. All right. Thank you, guys. You're very welcome. Hope that helps you in your yeah, adventure. Yeah, if you want any more help, um, head on over to our Discord. I'm sure Jacob can put it into the chat for you to 
get some more help, more tech help. So, let's go with Cyberpunk. The university recommended Threadripper. Okay, so yeah, you're talking something different now. Uh, I thought we were talking about consumer grade stuff. No, that was a, a different person has recommended it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. I can't see the names too well. Mm. I think that was Richard. Threadripper is a very interesting thing for a university to recommend. They're trying to get the students even as much debt as possible by the sounds of it. Mm. Overlay. Where's Reva Tuna? Glad they paid for it. Well, okay, oh, well, never mind then. <laughs> From Generation will help out big time with this one. It will, but controversy in the house when it comes to frame generation. Well, should I check focus? Should be okay. I'll just double check. And I'm just going to turn off. Could be a little bit better. Some bit. There we go. Made it a little bit better. Cool. I've got a public service announcement about Cyberpunk, actually. If you still have the mindset from when it launched, erase that from your memory. It is a completely different experience. Mm. Well worth playing, especially if you can get it for a cheap price. Yeah. Right, settings, video, we're at 4K. Um, I haven't got HDR on because generally it sucks. Uh, ray tracing overdrive, super resolution set to, what do you mean, balanced? Apparently that song was used in various Looney Tunes. Yeah, maybe. Uh, right, so we've got frame generation on, ray reconstruction on. Basically, we are maxed out here, um, and it's going to look amazing. Cyberpunk 2.11, I think that's what that is, is. I think that's a hand emoji. Yeah, it's a, yeah. I haven't actually played the newest update because it's relatively recent. Oh, okay. But Cyberpunk's really good. I don't know if you want to turn off the other lights. This might look better then. So we are maxed out at 4K. Um, it might blink for a sec. No? Okay, I'd unplugged the other monitor. Uh, okay. So yeah, we are maxed out at 4K. Ooh, it's so moody in here. Uh, and we're getting 67 Ooh. frames per second. <laughs> 69. In the dark, I smacked my face on the PC. <laughs> so yeah, actually, I, I can show the guys this. So when we do a benchmark run in Cyberpunk, this is actually the run that we do. So, if I run up to here... We start near the shirtless man with the cigar. Yeah, there's always a shirtless man here with a cigar standing next to us. And literally, we run down here, over the road, down to the bottom. And then you start walking when you get to the stop, bottom. And then start, so you're walking to regain your stamina again. Get to the top, run all the way down to here. Try not to get hit by a car, and then we stop here. And then we load the game and we do exactly the same thing again. At a different resolution or a, a different, different resolution setting or different or whatever. settings and stuff like that. So, yeah. So you've got path tracing and frame gen on? Uh, yep, path tracing and frame gen. So you can see, oh, wait, I mean, you nice. can see the lights here, just the glaring and stuff that's shining off that different nice. things. Obviously the light on the window reflecting. We did a feature on um, when they added path tracing to the game. We did a feature on that. Yep. Yep. If uh. So can we see the CPU temperature from the AIO? You can. Fifty-one degrees. I think that's just in shot. Yep. Fifty-two. That is not bad. For a nine nine fourteen nine hundred K. Keeping it nice and cool. Obviously, we haven't got this side on, but it's not really going to make that much of a difference. If anything, you'd like to think having the side on is actually going to potentially cool it because there's going to be air circulating around instead yeah, of being exhausted out. You'd hope it's being it's been designed as like a funnel for air. Yeah. I mean, that's what the GPU is designed with in mind, isn't it? Like, bring in the cool air, bring it across, push it up. You can't see me. Hello, I'm in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, game looks pretty good. Uh, CPU temperature is going up. It's at 55 now. <laughs> but yeah, overall... It's still a little buggy. buggy. What game isn't a little bit buggy? Come on. Pretty decent looking, I'd say. I think if a, 
If a bug doesn't break the game, I think it can be excused because it just makes it funnier. Mm. So yeah, again, lighting, you can see the reflections in the... Uh... Cyberpunk feature. Thank you for posting that, Jacob. Thank you very much. So yeah, overall, it looks pretty damn amazing. And yeah, 77 frames per second, 76. CPU has actually dropped a little bit. It's back down to like 50. GPU is currently chilling at 60 degrees. So overall, pretty damn good. Look, more light in there. Look, you can see the way that it changes. So when I'm over here, you can sort of see the way that it's like reflecting as I get closer. You can see it gets a lot brighter and then you can make out the detail where it's sort of being passed through there. You still, you know what we still need to do? Mm -hmm. Figure out how we're going to give away the case. Yes. We so, could yeah. just do the same thing we did last time. Yeah, pretty much. I'll let you type the... Ah! So there you go. Some pretty... Uh... Decent performance in Cyberpunk. I think, you know, if we're going to show off performance of an RTX 4080 Super and an i9 14900K, this is the game to do it in. That was a live reaction to being blinded. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, it was so dark and that is so bright. You don't think about it when the rest of the room is light. <laughs> ah, it's all good. So, yeah, I guess we have one more thing to do, which is to... Uh, yeah, give the thing away. Should we just put this I on the floor? I vote that we put this on the floor, yeah. Yeah. Uh, hopefully the cable... Uh, I would unplug it. The power one would have reached, but I'm yeah. just unplugged that one. It's just, it's a very expensive monitor. It's a very lovely monitor. If so, yeah. If ever sees this, can I have one for free, please? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I guess we should give the case away. Uh, like we did last time, Jacob, I am actually going to need your help with this one. Um... I won't mess up reading it this time. No. So what you have to do, I can actually write it in. So this is open to anyone in Europe. If you want to win the NZXT H9 flow case that is sitting next to me, just the case, not the whole PC. Actually, we should, we, we said it on the last one. I think we should say it now. If you are outside of Europe, mm. but have a way or someone to send it to within Europe who would send it to you, yeah, that's fine, but we it needs to go to a Europe address. Yeah. So if you live in America, but you have a friend in Europe, then they will help you sort out shipping it to you. Just don't expect us to ship it out to like the United States or yeah, wherever. Yeah, it's not going to happen. If it's not a European address, it's not getting shipped to there. So, uh, so yeah, for until I decide, so a, a minute or two, put into the chat if you want to win. Put the words that I've just put there. I want to win the NZXT H9 Flow case with N with eTechnics and NZXT. Yeah, nice and simple. There's no uh, debate about whether or not the mod is allowed to partake this time because the mod is staff. Yeah, Jacob can't enter. Sadly, Jacob cannot enter. He's probably going to put some altered version of it with a joke in there, though. God knows. I wonder if I can... Because it's really annoying me where it says... There we go. I couldn't see because of the activate windows thing. So yeah, get your entries in now if you want to win the NZXT H9 uh, flow case. I'm going to check the chat on my phone. And then what we do is a random.org. Ooh, a lot, of, a lot of people coming in here. Lots Welcome of people want to win. Chat. Lots of people want to win. Who wouldn't want to love this? What, love? Who wouldn't want to win this lovely case? Yeah, exactly. You can see where I was going with it. Yeah, yeah. I actually need my phone so I can do random.org. Oh, I... Apologies to the person I almost reported. <laughs> oh, you got to love live streams, right? We've got to make sure that no one else... Well, no one else? That no one has got a repeat entry. Yeah, repeat entries will not be counted. Would a repeat entry count as a disqualification? No, no, I'll just remove the second one. Okay. No. So yeah, like I say, if you want to win the case, put into the chat. You got another thirty seconds, and then we go on random.org and we will pick a number, and wherever that sort of ends up, you could be the winner. There is a lot more viewers than entries, so I suppose a lot of there we are. I was about to say a lot of people yeah. are in the states. I suppose. Yeah, some people, you know, they're here for 
For the content, not for the for the giveaway, so. I mean, the description has said the entire time Europe only, so it's not like we haven't yeah. been so clear yeah, on it. So you've got 10 more seconds if you haven't entered. All you've got to do is copy and paste in. I want to win the NZXT H9 flow case with eTechnics and NZXT. Please. Don't worry, if there is a spelling mistake, I will allow it, because I've seen someone put NCXT and stuff. That's fine, I'll still allow it. Thanks, Felix. Appreciate it. If you love the great content, you'll also love the great Discord server, which uh, I'll put a link into the chat now. And you'll love our great Patreon streams, which we did one today. Discord.gg. So, there we go. Cool. Right. So, entry's over. No more shall be counted. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, That's a tough one, that last one. Yeah. Uh, John Pez Pro, I will count you just because you were in time before I said. So, so that's, how many did I say? 15, and then that'll be 16. Yeah? Uh, I think so. So is that right? There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then John Pez Pro, 16. Yep. Yeah. So 16, just so there's no cheating or anything. And people can't accuse me of anything. Here is Ran. Oh, the lighting is so bad. Brightness down a bit. Yeah. So there we go, random.org. And for Gary, I am monitoring the chat on my phone one to 16 generate the winner is number 12 oh that's really which will be one, one two, two three, three four, four five six seven eight nine ten, ten eleven 12. twelve happy hero that's what i was going to say as well happy yep. hero congratulations you are the winner of an nzxt h9 flow case please if, uh, please if, confirm yeah if you can confirm that you are europe based yeah what country you're in that will make life so much easier He will be happy now. Indeed. Oh, that was the other rule we set. If you don't respond confirming you are Europe-based, we yep. will re-roll. Yeah. Oh, my God, I'm in the UK. Happy days. Perfect. That's good, actually, as well, because if it was a Europe one, like mainland we'd, Europe... We'd have to I'd still, still have, have the case. case. <laughs> so you actually get this one. So, yeah. Happy hero. Congratulations. Hopefully you have Discord so you can come over to our Discord and DM us and then we can arrange getting it shipped out to you. I'd so. say I'd say we'd sign it, but no one wants signing on their PC case. So yeah, um, if you could join our Discord if you haven't already and DM me, that would be fantastic. And then we can arrange obviously getting the, uh, the case stripped down, cleaned up and shipped out to you directly. So if you can confirm that you can get onto our Discord and you can give me a DM, that would be amazing. Other than that, we are basically done. Yeah. We, uh, we've been here for two hours and 47 minutes now, so it's been a long one, especially with the Patreon live stream that we did before that. So uh, it has been a pretty hectic, busy one. Oh, it is 20 past seven. Yeah. So, yeah. Happy days. Dinner time. Have a nice day, guys. Nice job. Thank you, John. Appreciate it. Join the I'll Discord, join you on very, Discord shortly. very shortly. Happy days. Thank you very much. And thank you, everyone, for joining. I'd be interested to know how many of you were here from the start and, uh, and to the end. Because, uh, you know, it's always handy for us to sort of know who stuck around and, and everything. So uh, on your way out, just let us know in the comments. And, uh, you know, leave a like as well, because if you haven't already, that's the main thing that tells us that you like these live streams and we will continue to do them in the future. Maxi G, I thought you were there from the start. Uh, Roz Grizz, yep, saw you on both as well, so thank you. Gentleman Bad Boy from the start to the end, thank you very much. Joe, same as well. Rich, thank you very much for joining. No, it's been a pleasure uh, as always, so thank you everyone. And uh, yeah, if you didn't, you know, if you missed the live stream, once we end this, you can actually watch it from the beginning, so. No problems there if you want to see exactly what went into this, how well the build went, which went well until we came to turn it on. So yeah, I'm going to stop blaming AMD for that and potentially stop blaming you. Yeah. Goes to show, though, how simple it is to have a problem and how easy it is to fix it. Yep. Just loosen the screws. Job done.
and then it boots up. So don't loosen them too far. No, no, exactly. And you know, we've still got good temperatures, so it's all good. Yeah, it's still running Cyberpunk, right? Watch your sleeper build live stream. What was the sleeper build one? I don't remember. I don't remember that either. It's been a while since we did a live stream, apart from the one last week and then this one. But yeah. Now there you go. Thank you everyone for tuning in. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Give us a like on the way out. See you later. Bye bye. Say bye, Brandon. Bye everyone. Now we wait. Oh. <laughs>